But yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, there five. I don't even know. Yeah. Load this data. Uh, but I'm glad I didn't have to mess with anything, guys. I just turned on Krita and look, everything looks just as clean as it should. But now it's time for Turnabout Revolution. But yeah, like I said, um, I should be a lot louder now. Um, with my mic because I messed with... I keep messing with settings and I apologize for that. What the... What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, oh, I don't like this at all. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, it's the Plum Punisher. Totally not a ripoff of the Steel Samurai. <laughs> um. Good people of Kurain, we can't allow things to go on like this. Uh huh. The Defense Culpability Act has done nothing but produce countless victims of wrongful convictions. I, I recognize that voice. The time to act is now, for we, the Defiant Dragons, have obtained the ultimate weapon, the Founder's oh. Orb. Oh? And to the Garenian regime, make no mistake about it. I will personally dethrone you. <gasps> A dragon never yields. Nor will he rest until his revolution is complete. <clears throat> okay, well, it's the dragon. May 16th. Oh, we're back home again. I wonder if we're going to be playing as Apollo or Athena. And this concludes our report on the recent television hijacking incident in Kurang. But really, who could have anticipated such a surprising turn of events? Did you hear that, Polly? Someone hijacked the airwaves over there. It's like something out of a movie. Uh, Apollo? Um, yeah. Sir, what are you up to this time? Wait a second. Do you know the TV hijacker or something, Apollo? You could say that. But it was a long time ago. And why do you know someone like that? I mean, they're calling him an insurgent. Yeah, well, did you ever look up that word or what, why? Yeah, about that. Um... Wait, hey, now, is that any way to... Who said that, huh? What the... Why? Why is he here? <laughs> Hello? Dirk, you're a wanted criminal. I mean, not here, but still. Hey there, Apollo. Long time no see. How have you been, son? <laughs> I, I, it's... It's that guy that was on TV! <laughs> Guilty as charged. Surprised to see me? Yeah! I'm surprised. Why the hell are you here? I just beamed in from Karain, and boy are my arms tired. Why would your arms be tired from beaming? What? Was that supposed to be some kind of joke? Must be dreaming or hallucinating or or both. No, you're not Apollo. It's that TV hijacker slash insurgent in the flesh. Um, I'm so confused. Yeah, I am too. Um, uh, Mr. Hijacker, sir, I have so many questions. I don't even know where to begin. Uh, but let's start with that bit about the man who raised you. Uh, wait. Don't tell me you haven't told anyone about me, son. It's okay to brag about it. Tell everyone your old man's me, the rebel Dirk. I mean, my face is all over TV these days. I'm practically a celebrity. <laughs> no, that's bad. You're infamous. Trucy, what do you say we uh, close up early today? What? Why? Ah, come on, son. No need for the cold shoulder. Ah, I know I'm going to regret this, but... What do you want, Dirk? Here, just a second. I, I need to check something out. Um, okay, yeah. I'm just making sure that I had the A button on the right thing. Oh, there we go. You show up here without warning after all this time? What gives? I came all the way to see you, son. Come, rejoice! Right. Why don't you tell me the real reason why you're here? Back with, well, welcome back. Dirk's in America for some reason. 
Why do these people keep just changing countries? Why can't Phoenix do that? Is it because he's not that rich? But, well, uh, okay, so maybe there's a little something I need your help with too, but uh, the fact is I came here to see you. That's the honest truth. Yes, I think we've established that, figures. I haven't seen him in 10 plus years and he's already asking for a favor. He really is a rebel in the purest sense. He just does whatever he pleases. Come on, Polly, I need details. Inquiring minds want to know. Okay, okay, hold your horses. Right, cheap as maybe. Uh, first, I got a few questions of my own. Pleased to meet you, little lady. My name is Dirk Sadmadhi. I'm a, well, a rebel by trade. A, a rebel? But on TV, they were calling you an insurgent. So which is it? Personally, I vote for a rebel with a cause. A rebel headache for anyone in your way. A real headache for anyone. Wait. I don't get what she was trying to do there. Maybe I'm just dumb. Sorry, everyone. Oh, because he's like the head rebel. I don't mind. Trucy. <laughs> you got me there. I'm the head of a resistance group. The Defiant Dragons. We're like the good, the bad, and the ugly, but without the good part. In Karain, I'm like the boogeyman, a tall tale parent used to spook their kids straight. That's too bad. You seem like you'd be a fun, cool guy to hang out with. Uh, this little lady's a real catch, son. I'm talking bride material if you get... No! That's my sister! Wait. <laughs> what? No, Dirk! <laughs> no. Oh, stop it. You're embarrassing me. Dad. <laughs> She's a plucky one, all right. Someone pluck me out of my misery. Yeah, please. Stop. Now, about that man who raised you business. Ah, uh, foster father, yeah. What did Mr. Dirk mean when he said that he's the man who raised you, Apollo? Uh, the truth is I grew up in the kingdom of Corain. Did I, uh, never mention that? Oh, so you grew up in... Rain? Yeah. Wait, are you saying you're not from around here, Polly? No, it's just I was raised in Karain when I was really little. Still, that's a shocker. It's like I hardly know anything about you. How come you never told me? Because it wasn't relevant. Apollo, you really haven't said a word about your past, have you? What? That I was raised by a wanted criminal? <laughs> it's like a bad joke. Doesn't... It does sound rather melodramatic. I doubt anyone would even believe you. So you two haven't seen each other in a while, huh? Ah, uh, you could say that. I'd wager it's been at least 10 years. Wow, that's a really long time. Yeah, for the same reason you don't exactly. Because your mom never told you. She's like, ah, we'll wait for that. Should we tell him now that Dirk just said she's wife material? Gross. Yeah, well, I figured he'd forgotten about me. Not a chance. It's just, uh, well, starting a revolution takes time and keeping it going even more so. And being a wanted man, I couldn't just hop on a plane to come say hello. But you did that anyway, Dirk. Then how did you get here? I get it. It's fine. Though, truth be told, it's weird having Dirk suddenly show up acting all paternal. I'd even almost forgotten about Karain. No, that's not true. I probably tried to forget about it on purpose. Yeah, is it because Nayuta's just a big old floppy dick? Now then, Mr. Dirk, what is it we can help you with? Request, yeah, what's your request? I need to get my hands on the Founder's Orb, the most sacred treasure in Karain. That's where you come in. Am I stealing something for you? The Founder's Orb? Wait, but didn't you say you already have it in that broadcast of yours? <laughs> oh, don't go believe in everything you see on TV, little lady. No one's seen hide nor hair of the Founder's Orb for some time. No way! So was that just a bluff? 
What are you gonna do if you don't find it? I don't know. Guess that means that we have to find it, son. Because I can't really back down now, can I? <laughs> uh, different year, same old Dirk. It's all coming back to me now. Hold on, I think I read something about this in the newspaper a while back. Something about you guys stealing a sacred treasure from a temple's treasure room. That's a load of crock. We didn't lay a finger on the orb. Really? Yes, baseless allegations, all of it. Our enemy has really found a way to keep us on our toes. Oh, so it's like a setup. That's the long and the short of it. However, my compatriot has been hot on the orb's trail. And just the other day, his hard work finally paid off. We now know the Founder's Orb is in Korain Village. Then why are you here? Wait, 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 no, Korain Village, which is here. Oh no, it's in, what? It's in the village? Korain Village? Yes, I heard there are spirit mediums there. They even have direct relations with Korain. Spirit mediums, right. Some doctor of archaeology there supposedly has the orb. His name is Archie Buff. Why, Archie Buff? Is it because he loves archaeology, so Archie? I don't know. My defiant dragon compatriot has already made contact with him. Apparently someone asked the doctor to study the orb. So whoever asked him to do that is the real thief. Most likely. And you think this guy will just hand the orb over to you? My compatriot, Dats, Dats, it's Dats, says Dr. Buff has already promised to do so. It seems he knew it had been stolen and wanted to do the right thing. Dats, I remember running around with him when I was a kid, yeah. So he's here too, huh? I hope he doesn't die. Apollo, I want you to be present as my lawyer when I take possession of the orb. Would you do that for me? Fine. Eh, fine, but I'll charge my standard fee. Now tell me about the Founder's Orb. What's your stand? What is his standard fee? If I remember correctly, the Founder is always depicted as a faceless spirit medium. What do you mean, faceless? Images of the Founder, the Holy Mother of Korain, never show her face. The depicted is to commit the greatest taboo in Koreanism. The greatest taboo, huh? I wonder why. I mean, what could she have looked like to make them hide her face like that? As for the Founder's Orb, it was discovered during an excavation eight years ago, and has an interesting legend that goes along with it. It's said that there's a riddle to the orb, and that any who can solve it will receive immense spiritual power from the Founder herself. Sounds like one big fairy tale to me. In any case, just it's just what us deviant dragons need to get our revolution started. With it, we can gain the spiritual power and thus the legal authority to rule Korang. Wait, suppose I believe this legend, then anyone could be the coming king or queen? And that's why you think it'll help you overthrow the Garun regime? Only the rulers of Korain have ever laid eyes on the Orb of Apollo, a legendary treasure that bestows immense spiritual power. Doesn't that sound like something you'd want to see with your own two eyes? Mm, that does sound just a tiny bit intriguing. Founder's Orb added to the court record. That should just about cover everything. Any other questions? Uh, not right now. Duh, I almost forgot. I brought you a present. Eat up, son. Sushi? How long is it? Where did you keep that sushi? I figured you probably couldn't afford three square meals a day, so... Wow! <laughs> Yay! I was just thinking it was time for lunch. You dig in too, little lady. After all, we're practically family, right? <laughs> oh. Thanks, Dad. Oh, that tuna looks good. What about Phoenix, your other dad? Who may or may not be a good father, but he's doing his best. 
This salmon sushi's got my name on it. Yeah, why are you eating it? I thought it was for me. Aren't you hungry, son? This is some of the best sushi he'll ever have. I'm, I'm good. Uh, oh, well, uh, okay then. Actually, I have one more present for you, uh, here. What's this? It's a picture of... A picture of your father. It's been 23 years since he passed away. Oh, hello. Huh? This... This is my father? His name was Jove Justice. Jove? Jove? That's... I mean, that's a name, for sure. I want to scoot that just a little more. There we go. I haven't talked to you about your real father in some time, but uh, as you know, he was a musician, a wandering minstrel, if you will, and a talented one at that. What? Why are you giving this to me now? I thought it was sad you didn't know what your old man looked like. I searched high and low to find that one picture. What's wrong, Apollo? Don't you want it? I don't know. I mean, it's not like I ever met the guy. Well, I went through all the trouble of finding it, so go on, take it. And don't ever let it go, you hear? Photo of my father added to the court record. Cool. Thanks. Well, now that our bellies are full, what do you say we hit the road? One second. Hey, Trucy, any idea where Athena is? She left early this morning to pick up Daddy from the airport. Oh, okay, so we're all coming back. Oh, I almost forgot. Mr. Wright is coming back today, okay. Yeah, but I wonder why he cut his trip short like that. Anyway, shouldn't they have been back by now? Knowing Athena, she probably got lost. Well, there's no point in sitting around here waiting. Let's get going. I can't wait to see that super mysterious treasure. I hope Maya came back too. To Karain Village, then. The Founder's Orb awaits! Okay. To the village. Hey, it's just like before, but in higher definition. So this is Karain, the mystical village of spirit channeling, and where ancient traditions come alive. Looks like a really peaceful place. Ah, I love the air! Nothing beats the mountains, huh, Apollo? Come to think of it... We used to live way up in the mountains, too, just like this. Sure brings back memories. Those were the days the three of us living happily in peace. I still can't wrap my mind around it all, you know? That Mr. Dirk is not only Polly's daddy, but Prosecutor Sadmati's as well, and he's such a chode. And the way you two talked about it like it was nothing, the whole bus ride here. I guess it is a lot to take in. So tell me, Mr. Dirk, what was Apollo like as a kid? Oh, he was full of piss and vinegar, he was. A real rascal. <laughs> Thanks. He and uh, Yuta used to run around in the open fields, naked as jaybirds. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've even got pictures of him posing in his birthday suit. Why? Whoa, 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 Dirk. No way! Prosecutor Sadmati used to be like that, too. Uh, the two of them would end up with leeches on their butts and <laughs> like babies. Oh, uh, uh, what? No! <laughs> Gross! <laughs> Dirk, I, don't you think you said enough? <laughs> you're no fun. Yeah, I wanted to hear more about the misadventures of Polly. Hey, what are you people doing here? <clears throat> it's Emma! Emma? The whole gang's getting back together. You know this lady's son? Is she also wife material, Dirk? Yeah, this is Emma Skye. She's a detective. Technically speaking, I'm a forensics expert, but I'll let it slide. <clears throat> anyway, I can't say I'm surprised to see you here. You always seem to pop up whenever there's trouble afoot. 
Still, what are the odds of running into you here in the boonies? By trouble, you mean you're investigating a case? <clears throat> Does it look like I'm here to sightsee? Wait, don't tell me. You're not here to see Dr. Buff, are you? Uh huh? How did you know that? <clears throat> We're actually on our way to meet with him right now. Oh, don't tell me he's dead. Figures. Well, follow me. <clears throat> I'll show you the way. Really? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, son. Just follow the nice lady. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh, well, fancy. Why is there a mechanical doll over there? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so this is Dr. Buff's study. Wow, look at all those books! The shelves go from the floor to ceiling. It's like a library in here. That's a very tall ladder. I don't know if I'd feel comfortable grabbing a book from that high. Yes, and lots of artifacts too. A true archaeologist paradise. Look, son, there are so many relics, they're spilling onto the floor. What a delightfully amusing room. Hey, that's, uh, that's a dead person. <clears throat> All I see is a mess. What's with that white outline? Um, Emma, where's the doctor? Well, the thing is, he died last night. Yeah, I think you, wow. So nonchalantly. <clears throat> Wait, what? Uh, it seems an avalanche of books knocked him off his bookshelf ladder. We're labeling it an accidental death. What? Please tell me you're joking. As if I'd come all the way out here for a few laughs, Apollo. Yeah, I guess not. <clears throat> a scholar killed by his own books. Oh man, what do we do now? I mean, how can he transfer ownership of the orb to you if he's dead? Mm, yes, that is a problem. Emmett, can you please tell us exactly what happened? <clears throat> so the doctor died in an accident? I received a call this morning saying Dr. Buff had been found dead under a pile of books. This morning? Ah, oh, talk about bad timing. You mentioned that he had fallen off a ladder. Right, we believe he fell from the top of that big ladder there. Oh, I see where the books are missing now. Apparently he triggered an avalanche of books while fumbling to reach one, and that sent him headlong on a fatal fall onto the hard floor. How sad, killed by his own books. But at least he was doing something he loved, being killed by books. For a scholar, I suppose it's kind of like a soldier being killed in the line of duty. No, that's... Those are not the same. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what. No. You could say he died an honorable death. Is that? I don't know if that's a thing, guys. Emma, who was the first one to discover the body? Uh, about that. Whoever it was, it seems like they wanted to remain anonymous. What? Uh, it happens now and then. Some people would rather not get involved with the police. I isn't that? I thought you had to. I don't know. I can relate to that. Yeah, because you're a criminal. Yeah, being a wanted man and all. What now, Dirk? A dead man can't exactly hand over the orb. We'll just have to find it. It must be around here somewhere. Just to fill you in, Emma, we're actually here to get something. 
Uh, Pops here had an agreement with the doctor. The doctor was supposed to hand over a sacred relic known as the Founder's Orb. P Pops? <laughs> <clears throat> no, I see. That could be a problem considering he's dead. Do you have a plan B? Um, theft, I guess. I have an agreement in writing. My compatriot Dats should have it. Well, there shouldn't be any problems then. So, who is this gentleman you're escorting? Oh, right, uh, I haven't introduced you yet. This is Dirk. He's from the Kingdom of Korain. All the way from Korain, huh? Hmm, so what do you do there? How does she not know the name Dirk? I'm pretty sure Sadmati has, like, cursed his name multiple times. <clears throat> I used to practice law, but uh, I'm taking a break from all that. I'm focused now on making Korean a better place, though. <laughs> or face through uh, volunteer work. Oh, man. That's what I'm going to call it whenever I'm in a rebellion. I'm volunteering. Volunteer work, huh? How interesting. Well, it's not technically a lie. So how do you two know each other? Oh, uh, he's sort of my foster father. C come again? Yeah, and he's Prosecutor Sadmod. He's real father, too. Trucy, calm down. What? You mean you and Prosecutor Sadmod? He? I'm so sorry. It seems you've had quite a life. Guess she's put a few things together. Actually, Dirk, you look kind of familiar. Have we met before? Um, <laughs> not that I recall. Great, she must have seen that news report on TV. It'll really complicate things if she figures out that he's a wanted man. Uh, there are lots of guys who look like him. Sure, you're not mistaking him for someone else, sure. Are there really? I mean, a middle-aged man with long hair and an eye patch? You don't see that every day. Well, wow. Of course, maybe you just don't look hard enough, Emma. Well, well sh I'm sure you're just imagining things. So, what does that sacred relic you're looking or searching for look like? I mean, there's lots of stuff in here that's old and relic-y. Indeed. Unfortunately, I have no idea what it actually looks like. So then, how are we supposed to find it? Uh, that I do not know either. We'll just have to go through each candidate one by one. Great plan of attack there, Dirk. I mean, I'd do the same thing, so I can't really say anything. Well, Emma, do you mind if we give this room a once-over? I guess not, but in exchange, you're going to help me with my investigation. Sure, it can't hurt. Or can it? Ooh, I can't wait to get started. It'll be like hunting for buried treasure. Yeah, the only thing that was buried here was that man's corpse. Okay, well. Let's scoot over here. Whoa! We, oh, he's been studying the, <laughs> the, the, the Ami jar. Why is someone's name written on here? Maybe it's so if it ever got lost, someone could return it to its owner. You know, like how school kids put their names on things. Yeah, but this is just an urn. The name is written so big. Well, I wrote my name on my magic panties. It says right in super big letters. Why does it always have to go back to the panties? The less said about this, the better. Is that, that's, that's just straight up the Rosetta Stone. Why does this man have the Rosetta Stone in here? There's some sort of machinery inside this clay figure. Whoa, it's moving! Exterminate, exterminate, destroy all targets. Exter- uh, uh, uh. Scrape, grind. Do I even want to know what the thing is for? I was trying to look at the Rosetta Stone. Why can't I look at the Rosetta Stone? There's a brown stain on this scroll. Hmm? Why does it smell like gravy? Wait, is that the, that must be <laughs> the gravy scroll from, yeah, from the mountaintop place. Why would there be a gravy stain on it? 
Who knows? But it looks like it's meant to be there. Maybe the artist was trying to inspire a gravy new trend. Uh, food splatter art. That pun wounded me gravely, Dirk. Stop! Just stop, both of you! What is that? Long neck freaking Godzilla? A coffee maker and a bunch of- I'm not even looking at the coffee maker! I was trying to look at the weird purple Godzilla! He must have taken his coffee breaks here. Oh, there's a filter with old coffee grounds here. I guess I better clean this up. What are you doing there, son? Ah! Yeah, don't clean it up, this is a crime scene. What am I doing cleaning this office? Don't tell me they have you on coffee duty back at your office. No, 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 it's just, uh, if I don't keep the place clean, no one will. The golden statue. It's a golden statue. Looks pretty old, too. Hmm. I imagine it has great archaeological value. Maybe too great for a private researcher of Dr. Buff's caliber. I wonder how he got his hands on something like this. <clears throat> there are animal drawings on the floor. They look like those famous geoglyph things. They remind me of the chalk outlines detectives draw around bodies. And the doctors has just joined them. Now that's what I call dedication to one's field. Dirk, I don't think that's how that was planned. Yeah, I don't think it was a per- Exactly! <laughs> no! Come on, Dirk. It's a spiral staircase. Uh, and it's connected to a hallway up there. Why'd they have to place the second floor so high up? Wait, you're not afraid of heights, are you? Oh, uh, well... Oh, Polly's hilarious around high places. He gets all wobbly, like a baby deer taking its first steps. And his face turns as green as a watermelon. It's not nice to make fun of people's phobias, you know. Come to think of it, the visitor's entrance is on the second floor. What an odd layout for a house. Wait, can I look at that? What a huge wall relief. Hmm. Seems to depict a spirit channeling. Hey, this spirit medium looks like the Holy Mother of Karain. Yeah, her face was left blank, but the rest is clearly detailed and well-crafted. Did you know some researchers claim that the Holy Mother had three eyes? And that her third eye was able to divine the truth? Just like the gods above? It is said that on to be on her forehead. Uh, like you said, you shouldn't believe everything you hear. Well, I mean, it's kind of a common belief. Hey, what's going on, Otter? How are you doing today? Oh, oh, let's grab that. Look, uh, it's one of the doctor's notebooks. Maybe there's something about the orb in there. Oh, Mitama motif from Korean founding period. It's a photo of the treasure box, the one from Temple Temple's treasure room. These must be his research notes on the founder's orb. What's that on the right page? It looks like a poem or something. Let's see. Oh, it's the song that's performed during the Dance of Devotion. It's been sung during Kurani's rites of offering since ancient times. Oh, I think I've heard of that. There's also a legend associated with the song. Some say the solution to the orb's riddle is contained therein. It's in a song uh, and that everyone in Korea knows. Not much of a way to keep it secret. It's called Hiding Secrets in Plain Sight, Polly. Us magicians know all about that. Nah, you'll just buy the- Nice! I know my friend Dez uh, went to one when it was in Dallas, and she enjoyed it. <clears throat> huh, that's strange. What is? Dr. Buff's notes contain the second half of the song. Only the first half is sung during the Dance of Devotion. Most people haven't even heard the second half. The second half? As in the part that begins, Offer th Thy Prayers? I'm impressed. That's some thorough research he was conducting. Research notes added to the court record. <clears throat> hmm. 
That's one big suitcase. It's locked. Is it the doctor's? No, someone left it here last night. So the doctor might have had a visitor, but how can you tell? Uh, that sticker there, you see, you only see those on airport luggage, which means its owner is likely from overseas. Is there any way to figure out who it belongs to? Not unless we can open it and see what's inside. <clears throat> Guess not. <laughs> That's because you're not me. Emma Sky, forensics expert extraordinaire. Try as you might, you won't find the word impossible in my forensics handbook. I I is she okay, son? It's like she's became an entirely different person. Oh, that's just what happens when her forensic switch gets flipped. She's got a forensics kink. It's okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah, for sure. I, I think it was just in Japan, though. I'm not, I'm not sure if it, it was in the States. But one of the one of my uh, songs, or one of the things on my YouTube playlist is like the hour-long um, concert. It's very good. Fully orchestrated music from like any game or anything is always very nice. With this, identifying the suitcase's owner will be as easy as pie, unless they wore gloves. Is that fingerprint powder? That's right, and there's no better time than the present to use it. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, I remember how to do this. So pie powder, yeah, with fingerprints and blow any excess off. Exactly. Well, have at it. Hmm, now, where would I expect to find prints on a suitcase? I don't know, like the freaking handle? Can't remember if I just... Okay, yeah, I, I blow by Tosh. Why are you not blowing? Blow! Blow! Am I not dusting enough? Uh... Oh, I guess because it wasn't centered. Wow, never mind. That was a bust. <gasps> oh, 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 There's a print. I think I have to put more powder. <laughs> Blow! Blow! Okay, um... Analyze. Whoopsie! That's not the button I need to press. Doesn't look like there. There's definitely a print there. Then what is? What do you call that? Okay, I'm gonna have to. Oh, I have to twist. I'm just gonna. Oh wow. What the fuck? Why is the blowing so bad? The blowing sucks. Fuck this. Okay, I gotta turn it around. Well, even even pressing the button, it like doesn't like to do what it needs to do. This one isn't clear enough for a match. Hmm. Okay. How might someone handle a suitcase? Start by considering what you do with them. Oh, so I should look for this ivy. Okay, fine! I get it! <coughs> God, this is... This isn't a fun minigame anymore. I just want to be done dusting this stupid thing.
This zoom is fucking awful, by the way. Like, this just sucks. I don't like this. Like, maybe on the DS it was much easier, but right now, like, I'm like, I don't kn fucking know, guys. I, I went over all the places where fingers might be. And that's not clear enough. This is this is really dumb, actually. Here. God, it's Okay, where the fuck else would there be fingerprints? Okay, I'm- this is pissing me off, guys. What the fuck? Ugh. Okay. Wow. Th this- I have the guide open, and it doesn't tell me where the fuck I'm supposed to, like, dust for prints! Oh my god. Like, if I could zoom out, that would be awesome. But I have to be in this really, like, fucking awkward, zoomed-in shit. Because that's the back. I already tried looking at this. But apparently that's just not clear enough. Well, the guide stops where it's like, oh, you need to investigate the room doesn't say anything about where the hell to dust on this thing. Okay, just a I'm gonna look it up, guys, because this is fucking annoying. I'm just spinning this thing in circles. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Wow, somebody's like, I spent 30 to 45 minutes. You're supposed to dust a green sticker. This one? That... How are you... That's so specific! I swear to God, if that's not enough. Doesn't look like there. What are you doing? There's totally prints there! Oh my God. Hey, that's bullshit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, a lot of people complained about that. <laughs> okay, yeah, we looked that up because I'm not gonna. How was I supposed to know that one, like, the handle? You always touch the handles. But one specific sticker is where the handprint is, because I guess they closed it with one hand. I figured, like, when I, I don't know, when I close a suitcase, I put my hand on either side to clasp it correctly, but whatever. Okay, now let me know who you think it could belong to. Who could it be? Can I be someone who... Would have paid Dr. Buff a visit. I don't know, I think it might be Dats. Yeah, that definitely looks like Dats. Present. Yeah, that was not good. I mean, the other thing that, that, that kind of sucks about this guide is, um, apparently there's three parts of Trial. It doesn't have a guide <laughs> for the latter three parts of Trial. There's... There's investigation day one, then trial, then there's par three parts of investigation day two, and then there's three parts of trial day three, which means this is going to be long as shit, and I'm just going to have to, like, figure out the last bit as I go. Like, I have the guide up just in case I get stuck, because I don't want to, like, I don't want to be stuck forever in this game, and sometimes they throw some curveballs, and I'm just like, guys, 
I haven't played this game in like a month. Don't, don't even. But yeah, we have a match. It only took like 10 minutes. That's come to think of it. He did come to see the doctor, didn't he? To conclude the orb transfer agreement. So he's the one who forgot his suitcase here. Where do you suppose he is now? Haven't heard from him in a while and he's not answering his phone. I hope he's not dead. Wait, you don't think he left his phone inside his suitcase, do you? I wouldn't put it past that knucklehead. Well, kind of break it open. Actually, I think we may have run into him earlier. Really? A suspicious man had been reported in the area. Uh, but when one of my officers approached to question him, he took off like a shot. Of course he did. What? Uh, sorry about that. Karani's people aren't all like him. I swear. Well, he's probably still in the village somewhere. Maybe he knows something about the orb. Uh, I guess I could check out other stuff, but <clears throat> I think we're going to just go talk to it. Or not. Touch the birds. Examine the birds. A thatched roof. First time I've ever seen one in real life. It looks just like the traditional thatched roofs they use in Japan. All we need now are some samurai with top knots, a few ninjas, and a cuddly mascot. When was the last time you were in Japan? Build a gaming collection from scratch. Oh, nice. A phone booth and a bus stop made of wood. They both look really old. I hardly ever seen phone booths in the city anymore. Apollo, what's this glass box for? I guess you hardly see them in Karain, too. The rock. There's a big boulder towering into the sky over there. According to the sign, it's called the Karain Boulder. It also says that a spirit dwells within it. Hmm, a rock with a spirit in it. And it's called animism, the belief that spirits dwell within inanimate objects. They probably enshrine this boulder as a sacred object. Their tradition of worshipping such objects is similar to our tradition in Korea. Interesting. Who knew dirt could make sense every once in a while? Okay, well, mountain. Seeing those mountains really takes me back. I remember when we used to live high in the mountains to escape the government. So you don't live there anymore? Nope, I needed a more convenient place to lead the revolution from. But that old mountain hut is still there. Man, I miss that hut. What, are you getting homesick, Apollo? You can come on back to Korean any time, you know? N no, I'm fine. Besides, I've got a lot on my plate here. Okay, well... I guess, uh... Wait, where are we going? What if we go back here? Is there anything happening here? There's not. Okay, well, I guess we're going back to the doctor's study. I don't know, you know, I, I, I appreciate people who do a lot of, like, game collecting and stuff like that. I can't. Like, I have a lot of games that I've gotten over the years. But I'm never going to be like an avid collector, especially of like retro titles and stuff, because it's just so stupidly expensive to do so. Like, and, and and just the fact, like, it's really cool to have physical stuff, but considering like the leaps and bounds of emulation and stuff like that, and just a lot of titles that are nigh impossible to get without like limitless funds or just getting a Japanese version anyway that you probably wouldn't understand, it's like, I don't know. I've been shifting a lot more to playing older, older games like through emulation or other things rather than trying to find a physical copy. 
Game yeah, GameCube is so overpriced. Like, man. And I'm pretty happy with Dolphin. I have a GameCube, but it's just such a pain to like to actually uh have it work like in streaming. So I might actually sell it at some point, like in the games that I have. Um I and I have one of the ones that has the Game Boy Player and it actually has the disc and I know those go for like a pretty decent amount, but even the yeah, oh, but just because it has the Disney label and because it, they became rare after a while, they don't even have to be good games to be expensive. They just have to be like out of print and like very few in circulation. The doctor fell from the top of that ladder. Yeah, that is pretty high. Hmm. From that high, to fall onto a hard surface would probably kill anyone. I don't know why anyone would want to climb that high in the first place. Guess you could say he climbed it all the way to he Trucy? Trucy? Why doesn't anybody, like, be like Trucy? That's not a thing you should say. Like, holy crap. Trucy. So this is where Dr. Buff died. Poor man, he fell right on his head and he probably died almost instantly. I see some blood on the book there, but what's that dark stain? Ink? It appears to be coffee. It's still damp, so it must have gotten on there recently. Uh, perhaps even last night. Yeah, no, exactly. I, I'm the same. The only way that I have like a lot of games that I probably don't care about um, as much is when I was on the Humble Bundle. Because you get a whole lot of games, and there's a lot of really good games on the Humble Bundle, but there's also just a lot of other games that I just, you know, that I just don't really jive with so much. But, but yeah, like as for like consoles, I only buy games that I know I, I'm going to enjoy, or I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy, because what's the point of having a bad game, you know, or something that you're just not going to like playing? That's a mighty big window he's next to, big enough for someone to see inside. Exactly. That's how the local resident who reported his death found him to begin with. Okay. Entrance. The doctor's body was visible from outside the window, and a passerby called in earlier this morning to report what they'd found, but there's a tree in the way. Huh. So you mean this case is still only a few hours old? That explains why your investigation is just getting underway. Study photo added to the court record. I mean, like, I bought the, like, all of the Rabbids games for Wii, um, because I was like, I, I don't, like, personally, overall, I think the Rabbids are a very stupid concept. But at the same time, all of those games were, like, a dollar. So I was like, you know what? Whatever. I'll probably try them on stream sometime and be like, maybe these are just as dumb or less dumb than I thought they'd be. But yeah, I would never pay like full retail price for a game that I think is bad or that I think I wouldn't play because that's literally just a waste of my own money. Dr. Head uh, fell, hit his head on the floor and died. There are blood and coffee stains on one of the books. Study diagram added to the court record as well. Yay. Wait, is that everything I'm guessing? I think I did it. It seems the orb isn't here. That means Dats might be our only lead at this point. Detective Skies said he might still be in the village. We should try to find him. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure now he's gonna show up in the village. The flag has been triggered, the Dats flag. Yes, you can tell because the time has shown up. Good day to you, citizens of Karain Village. My name is Paul Atterson, and I want your vote. Wow, that's really loud. Look, something's coming this way. Paul Atterson, savior of Karain, has come to... Ah, it's you people! No, 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 no. Uh, Apollo, what is that strange conveyance coming this way? Right, left, right, left, right, left. It's one of those, uh, what do you call them? Uh, palanquins? Who are you? Who are you? Who the fuck is this guy? Who, who is this? Hello? 
So you finally left Dr. Buff's house. What were you doing there? What a bunch of shady looking characters. And you aren't? So I take it you knew the doctor. Hmm. What a foolish question. I've memorized the names and faces of the entire electorate here in Karain. After all, I am the man who's destined to be king of this fine nation someday. Who are you? Um, who are you? Yeah. What do you mean king? Ignorant fools! I am THE Paul Attishan. Yeah, you're the one who stole the orb. Come on, you're saying you're gonna be the king. I am a soon-to-be eminent politician, a man whose name will go down in history. You should be ashamed that you've never heard of me before. Is he really that famous of a politician, Apollo? Uh, not that I know of. I'm running for a seat on the local council right now. I guess even jerk Q public has to start somewhere. But my election is a sure thing, I'm told. After all, my grandfather was a famous politician with untold influence. Oh, you're one of those where you're like, well, my grandfather did good things, so that means that I deserve things too. No. Shut up. In short, I'm the chosen one, the golden boy, the powerhouse of politics. And rider of his grandfather's coattails. <laughs> yes. Good job, Trucy. <laughs> Are you blinded by my majesty? Go ahead, bask in the resplendent glory that is me, the chosen one. Uh, sure. Ah, a pleasant day to you, good people of Karain. I am Paul Attishan. It is time to reclaim the glory of Karain together. A convenience store on every corner, a karaoke bar in every home. Every home? That's too many. A vote for Paul Attishan is a vote for a happier, hopier Karain village. Turn off that infernal racket, you fool! You're a stain on your grandfather's good name! Thank you, good sir. Your support is appreciated. As always, man, this... This guy is the very, uh, the very picture of disillusioned. I was just reminded that daylight savings time is happening here. Also, just a second, I, I want to add something really quick. Um... I don't want speechifier. I was th I was looking if there was a megaphone, so I could do it whenever he was doing his stupid thing. Um. Boom. Da, da, da. What is speechifier? What does this? Sound like? I, I hope it doesn't sound terrible. Let me listen. Oh, that sounds about right, except, uh, let's, uh, let's turn that down a little. Um, uh, I don't want the background effects. Voice volume. Let's put that at, like, 65. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Sorry, I'm still, I still have this. Let's put it on clean right now. Delete. Uh, da, 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 da. Voice mod. Voice changer. Select a voice. <laughs> Stranger? No. Speechifier. There we go. Now I can swap between things. Okay. Very good. Thank you, good sir. Your support is appreciated as always. I guess he's one of those people who only hears uh, what they want to hear. 
In other words, he's a model politician. Damn. I mean, true. Now, where was I? Oh, <laughs> right. You were in the doctor's house. Yes, I, I was. Just what in the world were you doing there? Hmm? Is this what you ride around in when you're campaigning? That's right, it's perfect for the narrow roads and steep hills here in this village. It has a top speed of five miles per hour, but it suffers from serious reliability issues. Namely, these imbeciles tire out too quickly. <laughs> we'll try harder next time, sir. Poor guys, they're exhausted and covered in sweat. The Attishan family has been in politics for generations, even back in the old country. Uh, really? My grandfather, Abe Attishan, was a prominent member of Congress, and he was born right here in Karain. There isn't a person here who hasn't heard of him. All I asked about was his, uh, palanquin. You must have heard of the Attishans. I'm even reviving our old country campaigning style. Oh, uh, politics aren't really my thing. Uh, Trucy? I don't recall ever reading them at school. Heh. <laughs> Young people today, you people really need to pay more attention to politics. I don't want to. So what business do you people have at Dr. Buff's house? Uh, he was gonna transfer ownership of the Founder's Orb to us. It's a sacred relic from the Kingdom of Korea. I feel like we shouldn't be talking about this to this guy. The Founder's Orb? <laughs> so you tried to get your hands on it, did you? Wait, what do you know about the orb? <laughs> I know that it's mine, that's what. How do you figure that? Because I know it's not the Founder's Orb. Its real name is the Crystal of Ami Fei. Crystal of Ami Fei? That's right, it's been passed down for generations in the Attishan family. Why? You're not the Fey family. Until it was stolen, that is. But just when I had zeroed in on the culprit, the doctor hid it away and then kicked the bucket. So you're saying Dr. Bluff stole your family heirloom. That's not what Dirk said. Strange. But I've been told that the doctor himself said that. He had the Founder's Orb. It's all that weird foreigner's doing. He filled the doctor's head with nonsense. Nonsense like the crystal of Ame Fei being the Founder's Orb. Weird foreigner? Could he mean... Is this the foreigner you're talking about? Take that! Yes, that's him! I thought so. Now we really have to find Dats. Do you know where this man is now? I imagine he's at the detention center by now. I called the authorities after I found him hiding in my dog's doghouse. What? Uh, that buffoon? Well, at least we know where he is now. Let's head over to the detention center and see what he knows about the Founder's Orb. Hmm, so you really are after my crystal. Uh, no, we're looking for the Founder's Orb, and we have an agreement to prove it. Well, just so you know, you're not going to lay a finger on it. It's mine. And I intend to give it to my benefactor. Your benefactor? I bet it's the King of Corin. My benefactor is ready to support my rise to the pinnacle of the political world. They have immense influence here, you see, and I intend to harness that influence. So you're just gonna give your family heirloom away to this person. That's right, it's a purely political decision. And in exchange, your patron will get the people of Korean to vote for it. <laughs> Eminent politicians are skilled at leveraging all of their connections. Isn't it illegal to buy votes? Yeah. Well, uh, good luck with that, I guess. <laughs> you just wait. Paul Attishan will reign supreme someday. Uh, 
Okay, well, I don't want to talk to you. I guess we're going to the detention center. Bye. He's still acting all shifty even inside the detention center. Hey, Dats. Hey. Yipes! Um. Uh, what's he doing under the desk? Foul cogs of the corrupt regime, I've got nothing to say to you. Dats, it's me, Dirk. No! Oh! <laughs> Dirk, you're a sight for sore eyes. I knew you'd come and save me. Well, this is another fine mess you've gotten yourself into. <laughs> my bad, my bad. At least the grub here is pretty good compared to that prison back home. You get three squares plus a place to sleep. Why don't you join me, Dirk? Uh, no thanks, they just send me back to Crane where I'd face immediate execution. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't be such a good idea. Mm, looks like he's still the same too. Long time no see, Dats. Huh? Hey, you look kind of familiar. Uh, uh, Apollo? Is that really you, my boy? A to the JL, grown up and whatnot. How you been? Uh, fine. And you, Dats? You look good, besides, uh, the incarceration and all. <laughs> Those horns, AJ! Horns? They've grown up with you, just like a stag's antlers. I can't take it! Uh, you really haven't changed a bit. Anyway, there's something we needed to talk to you about. Sure, pull up a chair. I got all the time in the world. The slammer's like my second home. It's really not so bad once you get used to it. He's rather laid back for someone in police custody. Okay, well. That's what is what the doctor had really the founder's orb? Absolutely, positively, the doc was sure of it. Really? Because someone from the village is calling it the Crystal of Amife. He also claims you were filling the doctor's head with lies. That ain't true! The doc said he was sure it was the real deal. All his fancy research confirmed it was the Founder's Orb. So then that Paul Atchison character was lying? Imagine that, a politician who lies. Woof. Oof. You know, this game came out uh, a while ago, but that statement still stands today. I bet he wants the orb all to himself. Hmm, I wonder who's telling the truth. Well, take a look at this. It proves the doc believed he had the founder's orb. Let me see that. I agree to hand over the Founder's Orb to the Defiant Dragons, if I will come to no harm. Signed, Dr. Archie Buff. Oh, well, he came to harm, though. See, I got it all down in writing. Uh, but that's... Why does it say, if I will come to no harm, at the end here? It sounds like he was scared of you. Dats, did you threaten the doctor in any way? No, you got it all wrong. Uh, it was the doc's friend. He told the old man us rebels were dangerous. It's his fault the doc thought I might hurt him. Sounds like the work of that politician. He's really made a mess of things. Well, so if he died, does that mean that the orb transfer agreement is no longer a thing because he came to harm and the fact that he's freaking dead? Reason for arrest. What? Were you really in the guy's doghouse? What have you done now, Dats? Nothing! I'm innocent, I tell ya! It all started when this dog-faced cop tried to question me. He looked so funny, I started laughing at him. That's when they came after me. But it was hilarious, I tell you, I mean a human police dog. How funny is that? <laughs> uh, right, so what happened after that? Uh, they caught me hiding in a doghouse. Dang pooch ratted me out. Guess that's what I get for laughing at one of his doggy comrades. 
It sounds like the dogs got the last la- what? This game. Like, there's a lot of good puns, but it feels like they're just, like, trying way too hard. And a lot of these jokes, I'm like, man, these are just falling flat for me. Dads, weren't you cleared of those jailbreak charges? And your capture by Lady Kira deemed unlawful? Uh, yeah, but, uh, the cops here don't seem to like me anyway. What are the charges this time? Unauthorized entry or something like that. They think I'm an illegal alien. And I can't prove otherwise because I lost my passport. Is there any way they'd let you go? Not without my passport. If only I had it. Dirk, AJ, you gotta find my passport. All right, we'll find it. One more thing to add to our to-do list. Now, where might Dad's passport be? Oh, about the orb's whereabouts. Maybe the doc's kid knows something. Uh, the doctor has a kid? Yeah, a bit of a shut-in, though. The poor thing's own bedroom has become like a self-imposed prison. A shut-in? Sounds like it'll be a challenge just to get the conversation going. Time for your questioning. Follow me. It must be lunchtime. Today is fried chicken, if I'm not mistaken. You'll get your lunch if you behave yourself. Dirk, AJ, I'll see you guys around. Okay, bye. Enjoy your fried chicken, I guess. Our only lead now is Dr. Buff's kid. But luring a shut-in out is, uh... Not gonna be easy, I know. Well, I guess it's back to the doctor study. Oh, it's you again. Hi, Emma. Looking for Mr. Wright? He was just here a second ago. <gasps> He's back! He, he was? What was Daddy doing here? Good question. He said he was looking for something. Did he say anything else? Let me think. Something about how his ride never showed up at the airport. Yes, that was it. Oh, wow, thanks, uh, Athena. I guess Athena really did get lost. But what's Daddy doing all the way out here in the first place? Don't we all have cell phones? Why don't we just call each other? Uh, come on. He can't be looking for us since no one told him we'd be here. Hmm. Well, if you're here to take another look around, be my guest. I have other work to do, so if you'll excuse me. Uh, of course, thanks, Emma. First and foremost, we better find Dats's passport. We should also have a word with Dr. Buff's child. Hey, is it just me, or is there something new in here? Oh, you mean that thing? Yeah, we should take a closer look at it, too. Let's not forget about Dats's passport. Should be around here somewhere. I think the thing they're talking about that's new is this? What's this, a model helicopter? Don't you know anything, Apollo? It's a drone. They're all the rage right now. I bet it belongs to the doctor's kid. We need to ask them about the orb's whereabouts. Yeah, but luring out a shut-in isn't going to be easy. Are you sure? What if we take their stuff? Nothing new here. Let's look somewhere else. Kid shoes. Nothing new here. Okay. Well, I like how it's like, hey, look at this thing. How about that? Nothing new here. Okay, wow. How about the tree in the window? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait, no. Okay. Over here, the stone looks like it's falling over. That's really weird, that shift in perspective. Okay, well, let's open her up. That's a suitcase. Maybe his passport's in there. Ugh, it's no good. It's locked tight. Should have asked him for the key. But why don't we just smash it open? What are we going to do about Dats' passport? It's probably right there inside his suitcase, but we can't get it open. Why don't I take it over to Dats so he can unlock it? Actually, 
Can't Trucy pick? I feel like Trucy should be able to pick locks because I don't know. She does magic stuff. That way you guys can continue looking for the orb. Good thinking, Trucy. Okay, here I go. Huh? What the? Ugh. This thing weighs a ton. Let me try. Jeez, how can a suitcase be so heavy? Is it filled with bricks or something? Knowing Dots, he probably packed his dumbbells in there. It's certainly much too heavy to lug all the way to the detention center. Well, you, you're a big, strong man, Dirk. Here, let me take a crack at that lock. What, are you gonna pick it? Do it, do it, do it. Yeah! There you go. That was fast. <laughs> a lock like that is a child's, is child's play to me. Especially after all the wrongly imprisoned compatriots I've busted out over the years. I, I was like, somebody's gotta know how to pick a lock in this party. You sure seen a lot of action for an ex-lawyer. And here we go, that's his passport. I'll take it over to him. Thanks, Trucy. No problem. Now you guys enjoy some quality father-son treasure hunting time, okay? See you later. Okay, bye. Thankfully, you're old enough that it's not weird to have you just run off to the detention center. There she goes. I wish she wouldn't make such a big deal out of our little family situation. Father-son time, huh? Mm. Been ages since we've had father-son talk, huh, son? Yeah, well, over a decade. So, Apollo, uh, how you been? Oh, uh, fine. I'm fine, I guess. Is that so? Fine, you say? Well, fine is fine by me. <laughs> Good to hear. Oh, this is awkward. Um, okay. Uh... <laughs> this is awkward. Okay, I get it. Thanks for the ellipses. This is very awkward. So what are we talking about now? Hmm? Get down! Hit the dirt, son! Huh? What? Oh. Ah! What is happening? Oh, the... Ugh, did I just get knocked out by... Wait, is their child literally an attack helicopter? Speak to me, son! Say something! Ugh, that, that smarts. You maggots! What do you think you're doing invading buff airspace? It'll be a scorching day in Siberia before you get past me, you yellow-bellied yahoos! Whoa! It can talk? What kind of drone is this anyway? Ah! <laughs> Drone nothing, that's sergeant buff to you, soldier! You got that, you lowly grunts! Ow, what the, who now? Buff? Sounds like the doctor's son is behind the controls. He's controlling this thing! Apollo, let's play along for now. At least until we can get the information we need out of him. It got it. Um, sergeant buff? Sergeant Buff, sir! You forgot to say, sir! Ain't you never seen a war movie before? Oh, right. Uh, let me try that again. Sergeant Buff, sir! Much better. Now, state your name, unit, and rank, soldier! No, oh, um, I'm Apollo Justice. I serve at the Right Anything Agency, and my rank is, um, fledgling lawyer? Sir! Affirmative, Private Justice. Private? Listen up, diaper baby. <laughs> Your commanding officer's orders are absolute. Disobedience means a one-way trip to the firing squad. Do I make myself clear? Um, um, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Good, good. We might make a man out of you yet, private. Now for you, Cyclops. Huh? Oh, uh, you want my name unit in rank two? Um, I'm Dirk Saimani. I command the rebel group of the Defiant Dragons, and my rank is, uh, uh, leader, sir. Excellent. Welcome aboard, Commander Dirk. Wait a second. What's with that ridiculous mop you call a head? Soldier should be clean cut. This is, sorry, but this is my signature look. I... No. Stop. Fine, fine. I'll get a haircut before we ship out. 
Listen up, you. It's kill or be killed out on that battlefield. No place for leave-in conditioners. All you've got is your life, and you're lucky to have that. Oddly obsessed with the field survival for someone who never goes outdoors. Ah, this is gonna be harder than I thought, son. Yeah. Oh, boy. Um, are you controlling that drone from your room, sir? Affirmative! But I can see everything you do from here, so... Ten hunt, soldier! Whip that stupid look off your face! I'm gonna whip you sheltered peaceniks into shape! With what? Your charming personality? Wow. Look, it's got a camera and speakers, too. And that's not all, Commander! With these arms, I can cook and clean, too! Speaking of which... Private Justice, you're on lat latrine duty! Snap to it on the double! No! But I have to clean the bathroom at the right anything agency! Uh, as if I don't see enough of the toilet back at the office. Sarge's drone added to the court record, equipped with a camera and a microphone, which means that they should have seen what happened. That thing's pretty handy. Us defiant dragons could use one of those. <laughs> yes, it is a fine piece of hardware, isn't it? I modified it especially for siege defense. Siege defense? You mean how you won't leave your room? You should have said how you don't leave your room, sir. Holding up in a stronghold to defend against an enemy is an age-old military tactic. A timeless strategy still applicable to in modern warfare. I hope you're not trying to mock the wisdom of my forefathers. Uh, I, I meant no offense. It was just an observation. So the greenhorn who ain't even discharged a firearm's got something to say, does he? Sorry, it won't happen again, sir. Darn toot. Now state your intentions, soldier. Okay, location of the orb. Uh, we had an agreement with your father. He had promised to hand over the founder's orb to us. What? Papa proper promised you that? He did, but he died before he could tell us where it's hidden. Now we have no idea where it is. <clears throat> Oh. Oh no! Hmm? P papa why... Why did you have to die? It was an unfortunate accident. I'm sorry for your loss. If it helps at all, I know how you feel, Sergeant, but... Ah! What do I do now? E you insignificant maggot! What would an unseasoned rookie like you know about how I feel? First I lost Mama, and now I've lost Papa! You lost your mother, too! Oh, sad helicopter. She's been gone for some time now. I'm... I'm all alone now. All alone. Oh. Um, it's hard to take this seriously when it's... I'm being... sniffled at by an attack helicopter. Sergeant Bluff, would you tell us a little more about what happened to your mother? The fact that it's playing, it's doing the little whop, 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 of this helicopter. This is supposed to be sad. This is like watching JoJo's, where it's like something sad happens, but that anime is so fucking over the top and crazy that you're just like, I don't, I don't feel sad because this is ridiculous. I'm sorry. Mama passed away about six months ago. Oh, I thought you said she left. We're still living in our apartment in the city. Back then, I had yet to engage my siege defense strategy. In other words, something caused him to withdraw from the world. It was arson? Oh no! It happened so suddenly, and before we knew it, our apartment was a sea of flames. Mama and I were trapped inside. Oh, did she hand you off so you wouldn't die? But help never came, so Mama cradled me in her arms. Oh no!
Oh, kicked out a window and jumped. Yo, yeah, oh, shit, she did what? She was like a walking, talking Medal of Valor, my mama was. She delivered me safely to terra firma with a perfectly executed PLF. Uh, it's a five point landing technique used by paratroopers to land safely on the ground. Okay. Sounds like a superhero or something. Uh, but from that height, she suffered massive injuries in order to protect me. She, uh, she died so that I could live! Ah! Mama! Oh, that sucks. This setting, though, like, seriously, come on, this is so ridiculous. I know that they're shut in, but... This kind of... They really... This moment is... It's not really as deep as it could be. I'm looking at a sad helicopter whopping in front of me. I, I don't know what to say. And the person who started the fire... He was immediately apprehended. They say he was standing outside laughing while the building burned. At least justice was served. I hope that brought you some solace. I've lost both my parents now. You can't possibly know how I feel. Ugh. Mama, Papa. Poor kid. It's hard losing both your parents at such a young age. He must really feel alone now. Apollo. I imagine you know what he's going through. I do? Well, except your mom's not dead, but you don't really know that? <clears throat> or maybe you do? I can't, I don't know if they finally figured it out. The road to recovery begins by talking to someone who suffered the same hardship. I know you have something that shows you understand. Oh. Let me show you my papa. Father? Um, Sergeant, sir, would you please take a look at this? What do we have here? It's a photo of my father. I wasn't even a year old when he died. In a fire. What? And like your mother, he died in an arsonist blaze. But in his final moments, he managed to save his infant son. For private justice, you suffered a loss just like mine. I have, and that's why I know how you feel. But, but you still have your mother, don't you? Uh, no, I lost her too. Well, I mean, technically not, but... Attack helicopter doesn't need to know that. What? Uh, she disappeared after the fire. I don't know if she's still alive or dead. Heck, I don't even know what she looks like. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, it's so sad. Wow. Sergeant Buff, his experience is very much like your own. If anyone can understand the sadness in your heart, it's him. Attention! Okay. Technically she's alive, but we don't know who she is because Phoenix is a liar while well, he's like, it's not the time. And then Apollo's gonna be like 60 years old and Phoenix is on his deathbed and he's like, your mother was Lamarar, and then he's like, ugh. And he's like, no! You know, I, I don't know, something like that. I salute you, Comrade Justice. You are no longer a private in the buff army. Henceforth, you will be a corporal. A, a corporal? Congratulations on your promotion, Corporal Justice. I'm just glad that seemed to cheer him up a bit. Oh, you, <laughs> thank you. Now, comrade, let's toast to your new stripes. And call me Sarge, don't be shy, we're a band of brothers now. <laughs> Now's our chance, Corporal. Ask him about the Founder's Orb while he's stunned. Dirk's getting way too much of a kick out of this. Okay, where's that orb? Uh, brother in arms? Uh, Sarge, uh, sir, do you have any idea where the orb might be? It was here in Papa's study until last night, but he said he was going to go hide it somewhere. He mentioned something about a shady character being after it. Where do you think he could have hidden it? Hmm, somewhere in the village, I'd guess. He said he found a suitable hiding place for it. So it was here last night. That is, until he went out to hide it somewhere in the village. 
The only question is where? Maybe he left some clue here in his study. Let's search the place again. How many times are we gonna search this place? Should I just find out more about Dr. Bluff? Might steer us towards the hiding place. Okay. Yeah, guys, we're an hour and a half in and we still haven't even finished investigation day one. And there's like a bunch of investigation day two stuff. We haven't even done trial part one. This is gonna be a very, very long um, episode. I can just feel it. So Sarge, what was your father like? Papa was as kind as Mama was courageous. His whole reason for moving the, to the countryside was for me. What do you mean? I initiated my siege defense strategy after Mama died. Papa was so worried about me, he moved us here to the countryside. He thought the fresh air, blue skies, and natural surroundings might alter my tactics. Uh, what a fine father. He even quit his position at the university to move here. He did? He did! He gave up his beloved research position just for me! A parent must be prepared to sacrifice everything for his child. That's what Papa said! Well, I'm feeling about two inches tall right now. Yeah, Dirk! <laughs> Good job. There's no one in the world I respected more than him! Uh, but that just makes his passing all the more devastating. Uh, sorry, just like you're playing this. It's going on, witchy. It's, oh god, I can already tell this is going to be a very long one, though. Like, the final episodes of each of the, the Ace Attorney games tend to be, like, the doozy. Although, the third game, the third episode in this game was so, so very long. The fourth episode was the Breath of Fresh Air. Papa! May you continue your beloved research up there with the angels. I don't know, it's so sad, Witchy. I can't, I can't really take it as seriously, or it's not like as emotionally like charged for me because I'm talking to a helicopter in that constant like flop, 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 flop of the rotors. I'm just like, come on, guys. I mean, I get that this kid's a shut in and all that, but it really seems to detract from the emotions. Okay. Well, I guess we're going back to the village. Is that what we're doing? We're not. Okay, wait, no, I think they said doing check the study again. Sorry, I'm back. The Sergeant Futaba can do virtual hangouts. Yeah, let's check the shelf. Uh, Sarge, sir, do you ever read these books? Why, of course! Soldiers must have extensive knowledge as well as fighting prowess. I'm learning all that I can each and every day in preparation for the big battle. The, uh, big battle? Um, you know, for when I go back to school. I'll need to be up to date on every subject. Stuff like, you know, the latest comics and Hollywood gossip. Oh, I see. What about reading, writing, and arithmetic? Well, I'm rooting for you, Sarge. Thanks, I'll try my best. Um, oh. Maybe the jacket? It's a raincoat, hmm? Yeah, because he did go out at night. I don't know if it was raining the night before. It's a bit wet and there's fresh mud on it. That must mean someone wore it recently. Indeed, maybe even as recently as last night. Sarge, did it rain here last night? Negative. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. Hmm, then how did this raincoat get all muddy and wet? When I saw it last evening, it looked pretty clean and dry to me. That means it got like this later at night. Good eye, son. This may very well turn out to be a vital clue. Seems the doctor wore this last night. There's a distinctive yellow and green two-tone design. So he went somewhere wet. Because it didn't rain. Um, exterminate, exterminate, uh, destroy all humans. What's this thing's problem? 
Uh, it's an Upar, an out-of-place artifact. Papa won it in an online auction. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that uh, most of those don't have, like, robotic parts. An online auction? Yeah, he said it's an alien weapon that destroyed an entire ancient civilization. Uh, where do I even start with an explanation like that? Um, I, I honestly, uh, Witchy, as a whole, I find it kind of weak. Like, I, I felt, especially after after uh, episode three, I felt like they were just dragging stuff on so much. Like, episode four was so nice to me because it was very compact. Everything, like, everything happened as it needed to happen. You learn the information, you, you, you put that information in, you got further in the case, and then you did it. The third one was just like so very much. Th there was so much dialogue, and a lot of it seemed incredibly unnecessary. Like, honestly, to me, out of all of the games that I played so far in the uh, in the Ace Attorney series, I found Apollo Justice to be the weakest, partially because of how heavily they leaned on flashback sequences and stuff, like to the point where it felt like every five minutes there was a flashback and they did a whole lot of that uh, they've been doing a lot of that in this game as well like thankfully generally they just flash back to a specific sentence or two but sometimes they'll like flashback and do like a whole like conversation and i'm like we didn't we didn't need that we didn't need that at all um so yeah it's it's just like i felt very good when i when i ran into um um, oh god. When I ran into Maya and all that, I was like, I was very happy, like, meeting people again, and, and meeting up with Blackwell and all that, but, like, to be perfectly honest, I'm not really the biggest fan of Apollo or Athena, because they feel, they don't really feel like they're their own characters, as they're more just, like, stand-ins for other characters. Like, they have their own personalities, but they're not, like, separated enough to really feel like they're completely necessary. Like, you know, Maya was very out of touch with things, so she had some really, like, off-the-wall conversations or, like, things to add to things, and I was like, okay, that makes sense. But Athena, like, the biggest argument I have for Athena is Athena is a genius, basically. Like, she's a prodigy, but she still says, like, the stupidest shit sometimes, and I'm just like... If I wanted, you know, to play with Maya, then I'd play with Maya. Like, she should just have, like, like Athena should be her own entity. Like, you can have somebody helping you on a case that isn't the same, basically. Like, like you can have a smart person helping you. And that's, that's one of the things that I've heard from a lot of people about um, the great Ace Attorney Chronicles, is that your assistant is actually, like very helpful and doesn't really have as much as like the quippy kind of like off the wall commentary the other thing that gets me about this game is they went like they went absolutely insane with the pun names like to the point where i'm like i don't even understand like which names are puns and which aren't you know or they make a lot of like jokes that just kind of fall flat like i i i'm still enjoying playing through the game and like and and seeing like the different places and stuff but it still feels, it just feels kind of eh overall. Is your room upstairs, Sarge? Yes, it's the one at the end of the hall. What do you say you come out so we can enjoy a snack together? But, but, I promise we won't bite. If you insist. Then I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Uh, no, wait, uh, Dirk, you better apologize quick. I'm sorry for pushing. <clears throat> but very well, as long as you don't do it again, I'll let it slide this one time. But yeah, the other thing is, um, I can already, like, like I said, the final case is generally the longest one. So I'm like, I'm kind of mentally prepared for this, but at the same time, I'm like, I really don't know how long this case is going to be. Is Dats' suitcase? It's full of survival gear and questionable souvenirs. 
Well, we already got his passport, so we can leave it be for now. Where am I supposed to find a hint for this dang thing? And I mean, I might be kind of biased too, because I really liked the original trilogy, and I, I got very used to the to the Phoenix Maya dynamic. And you know, they added some characters and all that, but they were definitely always like the main two. Um, and then we kept like swapping new characters and getting more new characters. I'm just like, okay, okay, why do we why do we need this many people? Um, oh, I think the other thing, one of the other things that's a super downer for me in this game is I fucking hate Nayuta. He's just terrible. Like, he he doesn't feel like he's really gonna have a redemption. We're already in the fifth episode, and he still, to me, is just an annoying, overzealous, religious asshole. And I'm just like, holy crap, like, at, at least by now, every other, um, every other prosecutor had some kind of, like, change of heart, or they had some kind of drive, and they were more understandable for the way they were acting. Nayuta doesn't. He's just a dick. <laughs> He's just a dick. And it's terrible. And I hate dealing with him because he just, like, fucking talks shit about you the whole time and keeps talking about his religious stuff and saying we're gonna burn in hell every five seconds. And I'm like, dude, just stop. Don't want to deal with your nonsense today. It's a shoe cubby. Hmm, the shoes look like they belong to Sarge and his dad. I bet one of them is muddy. Ah, uh, these boots here are a little damp. Okay, so. And it looks like there's something inside this one. Maybe Dr. Buff wore them last night. They might lead us to where he hid the orb. Let's take a closer look. Oh, I get to look at shoes now. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to use the... I thought they said there was something inside of it. Nothing particularly interesting here. Ah! What is that? Something's giving off a soft glow inside this boot. But it's too dark in there to see what it is. Well, okay, I guess we probably have to undo the straps. We might get a better look inside if we undid these straps. Shwunk, shwunk. Okay, where's the Velcro affixing to exactly? There's no, like, other Velcro strip. That's not how Velcro works. It needs to have an opposing strip. Uh, what do you mean, nothing? It looks like some kind of glowing moss. Could have come from wherever the doctor went last night. Must have gotten in with some of that mud. Might be worth looking into, if it'll help us pinpoint where the doctor hid the orb. Glowing moss, stuck to the insole of the doctor's boot. Probably got in there when he went to hide the founder's orb. Okay, well, we found glowing moss. <clears throat> Maybe, uh, you know where this moss came from. Please take a look at this. Let me ask you something, Corporal Justice. How does that aid you on the battlefield? Um, well, if you count the courtroom as a battlefield, it's a fairly useful weapon. Good answer. A military man must know his weapons inside and out. Keep up the good work, Corporal. Basically means you know nothing. Okay. Well, is something new gonna happen here now that I found a glowy? Nope. Maybe the raincoat? Oh no, not the raincoat. See, it's, it's parts like this where I'm like, okay, well I checked the shoes, I checked the raincoat, um, what the hell else do you want me to look at? Anything over here? 
I'll hold off your own opinions until later, as you know what happens later on. Yeah. This urn with Ami point er, painted on it looks really old. I don't think it's going to provide any info we need. Okay, well, what else is there that can provide info, sir? But yeah, it's just, especially after, you know, the other thing is, uh, Witchy, did you ever play the crossover game, um, Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright? Because one of the other things that's probably kind of painted this game in uh, a worse light to me is that I played that game, and that game, like, the whole way through is just such a fucking ride. Like, it's very good. The story building, the different characters, even like the things that they added to the court system just made it a whole lot of fun. And now I'm playing this and it's back to like the old formula, basically. And I'm just like, man, this just, I don't know. It just doesn't feel quite as nice. I mean, I also just very much like the Professor Layton series. So the melding of the two was very good. This computer could provide some useful information. B-S-I-O-S! Oh, there's a password. Drat, it's password protected. Dirk, you're good at getting into places you're not supposed to! Wow! Way to call your- call, way to call them out! Don't look at me, I don't know the first thing about computers. Ha ha ha! Leave it to me! A modern day warrior must be well versed in technology and have mean, mean pride. <laughs> no, your song references now. After all, he who controls information controls the battlefield. Click, clack, click, clack, click, clack, click. We're in! Oh, is that mother? And I'm in! Looks like modern day warriors have mean, mean keyboard skills too. Hopefully before you have no access to the three. Yeah, I would highly recommend it. It's very good. Like, it, it, there's just something about the mixing of the two worlds, like, because if you've ever played or seen the Professor Layton games, you know that a lot of, like, it's very cartoony. A lot of the characters look, like, really silly outside of the main cast, and it's just, I don't know, the world is just very good. Okay, let's see what we can find. I just wish, God, it, it sucks because, like, Buying 3DS stuff uh, isn't great because a lot of like the really good games are considered rare and they're very expensive to get physically or you can buy them on the eShop, but they're still full price. Granted, I think 3DS games are still only like 35. And to be honest, Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright is worth all of that. Like, it's very good. Oh, what's this? An email message? Now, this is interesting. It's a research report to whoever asked the doctor to study the orb. PAW 711. Aww. Games like this, Dual- Yeah, it, like, I looked it up. I looked up du Dual Destinies on eBay, and it was like $120, and I was like, no! No! <laughs> Here, I put the data on this. I did find out um, one of the problems I had with, uh, I think a lot of problems I had with Apollo Justice got fixed uh, because there's Apollo Justice, the DS game, and I think they remade it for 3DS and like probably had some quality of life changes, but I played the original DS one and I was just like, man, I am not, in, I am not really enjoying this game as much as I'd like to. Thanks Sarge for the USB. Take it and use it well, soldier. Email added to the court record. Wow, I'm glad that it's not just a CD again. This game loves, like, tech that's from way before its time. Okay, well... What the hell else could there be? Check the glasses. Are these the doctors? Lucky you can play them on mobile, like phones even playing through... Uh... Oh, Apollo just doesn't hear it. I forget that they're on there too, because I know all of the Professor Layton games are on mobile. Um, but yeah, I guess the, the trilogy was also on, on mobile, huh? And others. And generally on mobile, they tend to be really cheap. Yes, those are Papa's reading glasses. He said he'd been having trouble reading lately, but those glasses seem to help. 
Reading glasses, eh? Then I'll just hold on to these. Sir, don't tell me you're having trouble reading, too. Perish the thought! I, I just don't want to leave any stone unturned. Doctor's reading glasses added to the court record. Doctor's poor eyesight me meant he couldn't read anything worth at the... Then why would he be climbing up the ladder without his glasses if he needs to be able to read? Instead of blowing into the mic, you flick with your finger? Oh, that's so much better. Like, I can use the mic here. I, I am emulating this, obviously. I can't... I, I have a uh, 2DS near me, but it doesn't have, like, the little plug-in to, to stream to PC. Um, but yeah, sometimes, like, you, you weren't in here earlier, but I actually had to look up a guide on where to blow on... or where to dust the stupid suitcase, because it's, like, a spot that you wouldn't really think of checking. Um, but it was just really awkward, like, messing around with that. Okay, let's go over what we learned so far. Wherever it was that Dr. Buff went, he needed a raincoat. And it was somewhere where this glowing moss grows. Uh, any ideas where that might be, Sarge? Negative, comrade. I hate to say my intel's a little thin on this one. I've been occupied with my siege defense strategy ever since we moved to the village. Well, son, it seems we have no other choice. We'll have to ask the locals if they know of a place like that. Yeah, I would... Because I, I will say one of the annoying things about the first few games, Witchy, that I, I kind of hated, uh, that obviously they fixed in these, is, you know, you can go anywhere you want from this drop-down menu. In the older games you had to go to specific places in order to reach other places, and it just got really tedious. So I, I hope they go back to, like, if they if they remake, like, some of the older ones like that, um, they can just have it, like, be a list like this instead of having to be like, okay, I have to go over here so I can go over here so I can go over here, you know. But I also like the way that, like, Professor Layton works where it's, like, the little grid system where it's like, oh, yeah, you can just go all the way over here. Rain Village, yes. What? <clears throat> Ugh. Feels like somebody's watching me, and it's really creeping me out. Oh, it's just Paul Addison's campaign posters. They're everywhere. He, those weren't there before. When did he put these up? Whatever, I got more important things to be paying attention to. What great weather! It really lifts the spirits. I know, after our little treasure hunt, what do you say we go hunting, son? When they remade the Great Ace Attorney, which he needs. Yeah, I still need to get that as well. That's that's what I plan on playing next. I haven't done any of the offshoots like the, um, oh god, the the Edgeworth Prosecutor games and stuff like that. But I don't know if I plan on doing those on stream. Like, I'm not really sure how long they are. I I heard that they were like received okay, but I was mostly like I'm doing like the mainline games. But yeah, I figured Great Ace Attorney did so so well. I I could foresee Capcom bundling these latter three games and putting them out as well, which would be nice. Hunting? We used to do that a lot, didn't we? Just look at that mountain. I bet there are some feisty wild boars up there. Uh, I think I'll pass, but thanks. No, oh, so hunting's a no-go. Uh, well, I guess that wild boar stew will have to wait then. Hmm? Apollo, something seems different from the last time we were here. Uh, you mean the posters? No, not those. What's he talking about? Guess I should take a look around myself. Probably that easel over there. What do we have here? Um, looks like an unfinished picture. Like something a little kid might paint. Hmm, you're right, but I can't quite tell what what it's of. I don't know, uh, a man in a green and yellow raincoat? And glowing moss, I'm guessing? Or there's might, there might actually be fireflies. But the stone. I think it's supposed to be nighttime, but what's that thing on the left? 
Um, a monster, some kind of alien, perhaps? See, this is the other thing that gets me. We literally just got out of talking with that child. We looked at this piece of evidence. We picked up this piece of evidence. And they're just like... What is this? We've never seen this before. And I'm just like, oh, come on, guys. In any case, it's a pretty poor excuse for a drawing. Wow, rude. Maybe that person did their best. Well, what did you expect from a little kid? A uh, little kid? It's Pearl's! Oh, you just shit all over Pearl's paintings. You all need to burn in fucking hell. Don't fucking talk shit about Pearl's. Can it kill you, Apollo? This is why Apollo is the worst character. Hi, Beth. How are you doing? Excellent work on that. On that painting, by the way, it was very, very good. Like. It was fantastic. Also, I'm sorry, it's. There we go. It was starting to get a little bit bright, so I was like, man, I don't know. Did you miss Black Blackwell hasn't shown up again? But Pearls is here. We just saw Pearls. Well, she's right there. She's still on screen. I hope we run into Blackwell. I hope he's my friend again. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of times like where the characters and, and that's one of the things that gets me as well, Witchy, is you have the evidence in the trial and it's like this fits exactly here. And then you go to do it and they're like, no, that's wrong because you have to like hit a certain piece of dialogue first to make it more relevant. And I'm just like, or they like to do a lot of the times where you have to pretty much fail the trial. And then it's like, no, deuce ex machina. Now you use this thing. And I'm like, look, I get that you guys are trying to make it dramatic, but that gets tiring after a while. I just want to fucking slap my evidence on there and be done with this. Hmm. Oh, it's you, Pearl. Why, Mr. Apollo, is that you? I feel like her hair was darker in the original ones. Also, I think her Magatama was a different color. Japanese trial telenovela time? Basically, yes. But how are you doing today, Kat? Welcome on in. Did you get your Animal Crossing stuff done? I still haven't checked my island yet today because I was doing other stuff. Like last night, I tried to do a genocide run in Undertale, which sounds terrible. It is terrible. I felt horrible. But apparently, I wasn't ruthless enough because in order to get, like, the true genocide, you have to kill literally every monster in the game. And I, I didn't do that. I beat all the bosses, which is the half, like, all of them are your friends, so it's pretty bad. Um, but you have to literally, like, wipe out every single enemy <laughs> in every area. And I was like, man, I, I don't have the time to do that. You have to do the. Oh, you have your cafe now? I think my cafe should be up as well. I think ahead and you want to get to the point, but there's so many steps. Yeah, they have very specific ways they want you to do things. Yeah, and just chilling with some snacks. That's fine. Snacks are very good. Yeah, I got to pick up your tomatoes and plant them too. Meanwhile, you're going for passive. I, you know, the funny thing is, uh, my friend Des streamed Undertale for me on um, on Discord. And we went through the true ending, which is like full pacifist, um, you know, and all that. So I got to see everything and I was like, oh, there's a lot of depth to this game. You have to backtrack a bit sometimes to actually see the full story. And then I was like, I kind of want to do a genocide run just to see what the differences are. But most of the differences are that if you've played the, if you've seen like the original ending of the game, you feel like a fucking monster because you literally kill everyone. <laughs> everyone. Sorry, what? Have you not beaten Undertale? Sorry, well, I'm not mentioning any names, but it's it's bad. Genocide run is, is not good, but I did a lot better in the fights than I thought I would. Like, I think I only game over once. Apparently the 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 final actual genocide fight is just you're not really supposed to be able to win. It's literally just made stupid hard, but, but yeah. I did not unlock that. And I'm like, man, I'm too emotionally drained to try that again for a while. If I, cause she was like, you might as well just watch somebody do it on YouTube because it's, it's just terrible. You're, oh yeah. 
See, that's the thing. Some parts are a lot harder in Pacifist because you have to hold out for so long. You were close, but then you ran out of healing items. Uh, yeah. Plus, I mean, as Pacifist, you're always level one, which means your health is, it's never going up. Yeah. All right. What a pleasant surprise. Hi, Pearls. It's been quite some time. How have you been? Fine, thanks. You're looking good too, Pearls. Apollo, that's not what you tell to like a 12 year old. Actually, I think she's 13. Maybe she's all, no, actually it's been many years. I think she's 16. Jesus, there's so many people. Wait, no, I just, why isn't she here? Why is Pearls not here? I, maybe I have to finish talking to her, but I know she's still fairly young, but she was like nine when you first met her, but she's still adorable. Aren't you going to introduce me, son? Dirk, not everybody that's a woman is a marriage candidate. Of course, this is Pearl Fay. She's a spirit medium here at Corain Village. Pearl, this is Dirk, uh, my uh, client. Uh, hello, sir. Pleased to meet you. Especially not Trucy, yeah. I know when he's like, oh, she's like wife material. And I'm just like, Ugh. <laughs> no, that's my sister. You disgusting old man. If there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. Nice to meet you too. And what a polite little girl you are. <laughs> Um, actually, I'm a high schooler. Yeah, she's just... Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> so you're a spirit medium. Does that mean you can channel spirits then? That... You know... I don't know, Dirk. I think that's exactly what that means. Uh, yes, I'm still in training, though. But I'm well-versed in the art of spirit channeling. Well, now, isn't that something? I mean, back in my country, our little princess hasn't channeled a single spirit yet. Wow, I can feel her, like, fucking, like, sneezing, like, who the hell's talking about me? Pretty impressive, young lady. Yeah, I know they still don't. I thought that Apollo would put it together eventually, but no. And of course, Phoenix isn't going to tell them, because Phoenix is like, well, not my problem. Oh, but compared to Mystic Maya, there's so much more I must learn. Mystic Maya? Oh, right, Maya Faye. Mr. Wright's uh, former courtroom assistant. He told me all about her. She's a spirit medium too, if memory serves. Uh, she also uh, almost goes to prison every year. Yes, yeah, she's an amazing medium, and soon she'll be the next head of the Faye clan too. Mediums and spirit channeling. I've heard all about it from Mr. Wright. He said that mediums will even physically become the person they're channeling, which was super awkward in the case of um, Pearls constantly taking on Mia and becoming like a tall, busty lady in nine-year-old's clothes. Yeah, and it nearly, exactly. It was another one. I was like, can she go one game without almost going to prison? Wonder if even little Pearl would turn into a hulking giant if she had to channel one. <sighs> yeah, well, a, she was definitely giant in some aspects, but we don't think about that. I hope you don't mind me asking, but what brings you all the way out here, Mr. Apollo? Actually, I'm surprised she didn't run into Wright, because Wright was here. Oh, just a small matter to take care of. Wait, would it happen to be the matter Mr. Edgeworth is looking into? Edgeworth! Prosecutor Edgeworth, what's he doing here? Where is he? Oh, so it's a different matter then, because I just saw him a moment ago. He appeared to be searching for something. Oh, hmm. Was it, well, he was probably looking for Mr. Wright. They haven't smooched in a while because he's been gone overseas. Mr. Edgeworth is a friend of Mr. Wright's and the district chief prosecutor. Why would he be here in Corain? Well, no point in obsessing over it. Yeah, he has glasses now, and he does the little... It's very good. I was so happy when I saw him. Ah, uh, his, his, his cravat. He always has to have the cravat. Come to think of it, you live here in Corain Village, don't you, Pearl? Yes, I was born and raised here. 
This is perfect, Apollo. Let's ask the young lady if she knows where the doctor might have gone last night. I was thinking the exact same thing. Maybe I should show her what we found in the doctor's study. Okay, um, present the moss. Oh wait, first things first, let's, uh, what record? Cause she should be on, I'm, I think she's, maybe she's 16 now. It has been seven years. She's 18? She still looks like a child! What? She ha She's barely changed! Okay. Se oh wait, it's seven years since the third game, and we met her in the second game? Oh no, she was nine when we met her! They've grown up so much! And then Edgeworth's 35. And yes, he has glasses now. Bean! Welcome! How are you doing? Wait. His, yeah, his frilly cravat makes one strong fashion statement. He's been wearing that cravat for like 30 years. Yeah, we saw her in Dual Destinies. Oh, I don't like that guy. I've been doing great. It's been getting chilly down here. Fuck this guy. Um, yeah, and then, oh yeah, I forgot. Him and Edgeworth are the same age because they both went to school together. It's, it's so weird to think that Trucy is younger than Pearls, but I guess she was only like 14 when we met her, and that was already like nine years late. Jesus, guys, time is weird. Yeah, and, okay, in that case she was 17, yeah. This is, wow, Pearl, damn. You're gonna go to college soon, mate. Well, tons of chest hair? Probably, it's probably like a there's like a big poof, and he's like, I, I must hide this. Husbands? Yeah, no, it's so obvious. That's why I loved watching, um, I watch a lot of the Game Grumps, and I loved watching their their playthrough of Ace Attorney, because they had so much, like, just, like, super gay dialogue they, like, added in, and I was like, yeah, I mean, come on! It, this game, like, <laughs> they're definitely very good bros. What I've been, uh, not a whole lot. Just mostly streaming and, uh, working in the usual, to be honest. Trying to keep things tidy around here. I really need to clean up my, my room, but uh, we can worry about it later. The anime VA shipped them together too. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, man. All this reminiscing. Like, it's, this series has been a ride, guys. Like, holy shit. I couldn't tell you what order all of the cases happened in because my god there's been so many cases but it's just weird thinking like back to when you first met these people to now god i cannot believe pearls is 18 years old in this game okay here look at my moss i'm sorry yeah yeah i i've actually had it for a while i just didn't have the chance to use it fully until i had more space so because it, it's sitting pretty far behind me it's about like five feet back yeah, epic rivalries are just kind of exactly especially when he edgeworth in like the first game i i think the third case is literally like i'm saddled with unnecessary feelings and you're like what is edgeworth what does that mean edgeworth please And then Phoenix is like, let me defend you. And he's like, no, it's too dangerous. And then he finally gives in. He's like, oh, you're fine, whatever. And then Phoenix is just like, yes. Pearl, do you have any idea where this moss might grow? That looks like Mitama moss. It grows on Mount Mitama and it gives off a soft glow in the dark. The second aesthetic kitchen, yeah. Mount Mitama? See that mountain over there? That's Mount Mitama. That's really far. And uh, how would one get there? Although I have found out, um, I don't know if you've seen it, Bean, but NVIDIA has like the, the NVIDIA broadcast software or whatever. And I think they have something built in where if you don't have a green screen, it still has like the software rendered green screen type thing where it basically tries to just capture you and like your arms and movements and it just blocks out everything else and it it still looks a little weird but it's also like a step forward for people who can't really have green screens and stuff like that so 
you have that moss. Do you? I know I have one of the stones that has moss on it. I don't think it glows though. But yes, I have bean. I actually have to get on later today and check on my potatoes and plant some tomatoes that Cat was nice enough to give me. Holy misty face scepter and he literally goes, <laughs> No, what? <laughs> standing with that no! Oh my god. It's a little, yeah, it's a little weird because I think it's still experimental, but it it's cool that they're like working on stuff like that, so. How would one get there? You can take a bus from that bus stop over there. Um, may I ask why you're so interested in that moss? Well, Dr. Buff was supposed to give us something, but it seems he hit it somewhere last night. He, he did? Maybe that's why he, um... Earl, do you know something that might help us? Um, well... Sounds like I'd better find out what she knows. Okay, well... I can't see her Cyclox because I'm not Phoenix Wright. Yeah, need to see. Yeah, I know I, 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 I paid for Leaf's, like, shop to open up on Harv's Island, so I gotta go over there because I did that yesterday. So he should be there. Eric Vale has so much fun in that role. Aw. Oh, really? Dang. God, I, I need to also check out that. Up. There's just so much to check out. What a peaceful place. Ah, uh, nothing beats mountain air. Many of uh, the villagers have left for the city, but I just love it here. Blue skies, lush forests, star-filled skies at night, and fireflies in the summer. Plus, the big, beautiful blue ocean is just beyond that mountain. The ocean? What do you say we go for a swim, son? Who are you, fucking Damon Gant? <laughs> have you gone swimming today? Um, I think I'll pass. Besides, I can't swim. Apollo, you can't do a lot of things. A little bit. Yeah, I should do him next, because I really need to get all of the, the art filled up. Need to check. Yeah, there, God, there's so much. Honestly. Um, Pearl, Crane Village is like the home of spirit mediums, right? Yes, and I'm part of a long line of mediums. I've never seen a channeling before, but uh is it possible to channel the spirit of anyone who pa who's passed away? No, not just anyone. You must know their face and true name. Really? You can channel a spirit just by knowing their face and name? That's an amazing ability. It is, but it can only be learned by those with a gift occurring in certain bloodlines. And years of intense training. At present, Mystic Maya and I are the only ones in our village who can channel spirits. Looks like the spirit mediums are highly valued here, much like they are back in Korain. I heard there used to be many more of us a long time ago, but now we are in very short supply. Most of the women nowadays don't want to stay. They want the thrill of the big city. Yeah, well, you guys aren't exactly close to any shopping malls or nightclubs out here. But what about you? Are you not interested in things like that? I mean, Apollo, she didn't even know what a bus was the first time we met her. I don't know if she cares that much about nightclubs. Who, who, me? Well, I, I wouldn't mind a new outfit or two. And well, um, oh, never mind. It's okay, Pearl. You're at that age, after all. What does that mean, Apollo? Pearl, do you have any idea where Dr. Buff might have gone last night? Um, well... Uh, about that. All I know is Dr. Buff was somewhere on Mount Mitama. Ha-ha! <laughs> My wrist! It's squeezy! Yeah, you can say boyfriend, it's okay. My bracelet! It's reacting! Which means Pearl is hiding something from me! Oh, my lie detector! Dung! I mean, she looked incredibly nervous. Oh, wait, maybe I should be looking at her other hand. Listen again. Pretty 
Perceive! Gotcha! <laughs> this is so dumb. Pearl, you seem anxious around the topic of Mount Mitama. I could tell because you'd rub your thumb over a splotch of dry paint as you said it. Oh, um, well, oh, she's the one who painted that beautiful picture. That nighttime painting is yours, isn't it? <gasps> this is so embarrassing. As you saw, I'm not a very good artist. But that picture has nothing to do with Dr. Buff. I'm not so sure about that. In fact, I'm going to guess that while you were out here painting last night, you actually saw the good doctor heading out to Mount Mitama from the bus stop. N no, I didn't see anything like that, I swear. No, I'm positive you saw the doctor. After all, he's right here in your picture. But come on, where else would he be? He's right there. Take that! Take that! Y you think that's the doctor? I may not be a very good artist, but at least I know how to draw a person. Okay, if this isn't a person, then what is it? Uh, th that's a, a rain spirit. Wow, that's a lie. Um, and what's a rain spirit doing at a bus stop? Oh, uh, rain spirits have places to go too. Mm-hmm, this is getting ridiculous. Sorry, Pearl, but you're not a very good liar. That is Dr. Buff, and this piece of evidence proves it! The attack helicopter. No, the raincoat. Oh, wait, here you go. You guys... Take that! Take that! This is the raincoat we found in the doctor's study. It's still wet and muddy, so we know that someone wore it last night, and it definitely wasn't a rain spirit. Now, see how this pattern is the same as the rain spirit in your picture? Ah! You didn't see a rain spirit last night. You saw Dr. Buff wearing this raincoat! Ah! I... I'm sorry. I know I'm not supposed to lie, but yeah, lying's bad. Da, 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 da. Okay, so everything's fine. Da, 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 da. Where did he go? I'm sorry I didn't tell you before, Mr. Apollo, but I did see the doctor last night. It's all right, just please tell me everything you know. Of course. I was painting out here last night when the doctor came up to the bus stop. He was wearing a raincoat, even though it wasn't raining, and a helmet with a light on it. Sounds like he was well prepared for something. I know, that's why I asked him if he was going off exploring again. He looked startled, like he hadn't noticed me there. And then he suddenly said, Please don't tell anyone you saw me here. Oh. Why would he want to silence you like that? Something must have happened to spook him, and he didn't want anyone to know where he was going to hide the orb. But where could he have been going dressed like that? We just discussed that to Mount Mitama! My best guess is a cave somewhere on Mount Mitama. I heard there's a cave where the mediums of the Korean tradition went to train long ago. Legend has it that there are some sort of mystical ruins in there. Mystical ruins? Sounds like the exact sort of place an archaeolo ar archaeologist might go. Archaeologist. What do you think about this douchebag? Oh, we met this weirdo earlier named Paul Addison. Do you know anything about him? Yes, he's been campaigning a lot around here lately, and the noise he's been making has become quite a problem. People are especially upset that he's campaigning at all hours of the night and day. Hmm, well, the local police should arrest him for disturbing the peace. Unfortunately, there's little they can do because the Addison family is so powerful. Well, isn't he the proverbial pampered provincial prince? Seem pretty intent on winning here in Korain. Is there some special reason why? I'm not sure, but I have an idea. The spirit mediums of Korain once held considerable sway in the political world. Judging by his slogan, maybe that's what he's after. Great, so he's just another politician seeking powerful connections. Hm. 
The ability to commune with the dead gives comfort to those anxious about the future. Tiny Karain has preserved its independence by the Queen's power of spirit channeling. It must play a similar role in this village. Yes, even today, many here revere those with spirit medium blood flowing in their veins. So basically, as Paul uh, as Paul Ashton's benefactor goes, so goes the whole village. Who is this benefactor? Who could hold this much sway over Karain Village? I don't know. Well, we should get going now, but thanks for all your help, Pearl. You're welcome, Mr. Apollo. Please take care. What do you say we go find that cave, son? I sense the orb might finally be within our grasp. This treasure hunt is shaping up to be a real deal. <laughs> really gets the blood bumping, doesn't it? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Man, this is a long investigation, guys. We're almost two and a half hours in. Hey, I am all out of breath. Ah, oh, come on, that was nothing. I'm sorry, I'm a... I'm a defense attorney, not some vigilante. You're so much younger than me. I, uh... Don't normally give this much exercise. <laughs> yeah, that's me. That was me climbing, like, a shrine in Japan with, like, a billion steps, and by the top I was like, I hate my life. Da, 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 da. Need a break? No, no I'm fine. <sighs> Dirt, look! There's Matama Moss growing in that cave over there. This must be where the doctor was last night. Let's take a look inside. I say Mount Matama Cave. Dang, I maybe we should have brought a light. Well, doesn't he have a phone? Don't you have a phone, Apollo? Turn on the flashlight. Like, just do it. God, they like, technology exists. Can't see a thing. Relax, your eyes will adjust eventually. Now follow me. <clears throat> I, I really think we need a flashlight, Dirk. Should have brought one along then, son. Here, here's mine. Hello? Thanks, wait, are you holding out on me? Um, who are you talking to, Apollo? What the fuck? You? Whoa! Someone just pushed me! Apollo? What the? Apollo! What is happening? Uh, ah! What is happening? What? Excuse me, it's dark! Ow. Are you alright, son? Y yeah it Looks like someone got the drop on us. Quite literally. But who? I mean, we could have died from that fall. I don't know. But I don't think we'll be getting out of the way out the way we came in. Looks like we're in a pretty deep cave. Nothing to do but press on, son. How can you even see in here? Come on, let's go. Hey, wait! On one false step and we're dead. Wasn't there a lot of glowing moss? What in the world should we do? Uh what the hell? <laughs> what is, what is this just turned into an adventure game? I just hold hold daddy's hand. Um well I guess go forward. He said to go forward. I swear to god, if I just fucking die. I guess we keep going. There must have been some path for Dr. Buff to follow when he came to hide the orb. Right, by the way, it looks like our attacker left us with this useful parting gift. Flashlight! Yay! Wow, that's a crappy flashlight, but... From lawyer to spelunker, how do I always get myself into these situations? We're never gonna make it out alive, I hope you know. Apollo, come on. Can you die in this game? I don't know, I hope not. I hope it's not one of those you die in the game, you die in real life situations. <sighs> Don't tell me you're scared, son. We're just getting started. The greatest treasures are only ever found at the point of a blade or the edge of a cliff. 
Yeah, sure. If I'd known I'd wind up at the bottom of some dark, damp cave, I would have never taken your request, Dirk. Save your breath, Apollo. Just keep putting one foot ahead of the other. Apollo, he, yeah. There really be, better be a way out of here. That's the thing, too, is I feel like Apollo is kind of a pessimist. So he's kind of a downer to deal with a lot. Like, I don't know. Like, I get Phoenix was fairly straight edge and there wasn't like a lot of deviation, but it's like, Apollo, come on, man. We'll find out before you know it. You'll see. Okay. Wow. Great conversation. Really just riveting. <clears throat> they have a lot of dead ends. I mean, this is true. It's been a while since I've been in an actual cave because Texas doesn't really have many, like, caves. Texas doesn't have a lot of anything. But, you know. Yeah, I know. Well, he probably would have found the way out. He just cut his way through through a wall. <laughs> he's, he's dying. This poor child has never exercised in his life. I've been walking for over an hour. It's like a maze in here. Couldn't get back to where we started if I wanted to. Uh, yeah, this cave goes deeper than I thought. <clears throat> Wait, don't tell me there really is no way out. Where there's a will, there's a way. Never the optimist, aren't you? Well, uh, Apollo, somebody has to be. Maybe we should cut our losses while we still can. Put your foot down. No, we're forging ahead. Even if we were to turn back, we wouldn't make a... Make it up that wall of solid rock. There's one towards... Well, yeah, I know there's, like, the inner space caverns type thing, but, I mean, there's not really a lot of, like, big natural caves other than that, I feel. So I guess we keep going. Yeah, that. I've never been there. Maybe one day. I, I hear the admission fee's kind of high, but at the same time, it's like, you, you probably don't need to go there multiple times. Just go and take a lot of pictures or something. How did I get stuck wandering around in a dark cave again? It's definitely not in my job description. God, he's complaining so much. <laughs> Listen, son, only the truly accomplished have the luxury of being so choosy. When I was just starting out, I did everything from street performing to yak milking. What? <laughs> and that helped you become an accomplished attorney how? It didn't. But when you need to earn a living, You'll take on any job just to survive. I wish I could milk yaks. I wonder if I could get a part-time job milking cows. When you do the three-hour tour. Oh, that's where you actually go spelunking? I gotcha. I know, Apollo is just like, man, negative Nancy, for sure. Say, how is your career going, by the way? Well, it's been a harrowing adventure so far, to say the least. I almost died, like, twice or three times. <laughs> My first trial really put me through the ringer. And my next case had me investigating a pair of stolen panties! <laughs> Always have to come back to the panties! Thanks, Trucy. I had to look for my sister's panties, not what I was expecting. And just when I was hitting my stride, this one prosecutor branded me as Air Forehead. Man, I didn't know we were going through a recap episode, guys. Sorry. Oh, and there's this other ridiculous prosecutor who wields a samurai sword. Sounds like you've uh, seen uh, quite a bit. Hi, Blackwell. You're telling me. Listen, Apollo, why didn't you talk about Phoenix Wright, the best mentor slash dad figure? I'm, uh, I'm sorry I didn't contact you for so long. You love coffee? Yeah. You like his music. Has the fancy wine guy shown up yet? You don't know what game he's in? Wait. Oh, God. I'm trying to think. I know, I know coffee guy. Clavier was just the rocker. Who's fancy wine? The one who might or might not be a vampire. 
I'm trying to think. Like I, I'm like, okay, somebody had a whip. Somebody threw coffee at me. Um, Black Will had a sword. Uh, Edgeworth is loves me. Damn, tosses wine everywhere and he gets mad. I'm trying to think. Maybe, maybe that's like from one of the offshoot games or something. Somebody throws one. God, I'm trying. You know, I I swear to God, I've played too many of these games and it starts to like meld together. It's fine, Dirk. What happened happened. Yeah, <laughs> you want to see me voice him so badly? Oh, mm -hmm. careful. The ground doesn't feel as solid here. What? Oh, are we falling again? No, we're falling. <laughs> Dog, not again. Ah! Yeah, there are so many games. May 16th. Yeah, it's a very old cave. Hey, Apollo, can you hear me? Ugh. Dirk? Come on, calm down. Phoenix got, he, he survived getting hit by a car. Wait, who, who is she talking about, Witchy? Is it from a game? Is, is he from one of the mainline games? Because I have played all of them so far, but... Dirk? Hmm? Where are we? The only person I can think of that has, like, a drink is when I was playing, um, Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright, when that some guy would constantly drink and he had, like, a goblet or a mug. Oh, he's from Great- I am gonna play Great Ace Attorney next, after I beat- After I beat this one, that's coming. And I've heard so many good things about Great Ace Attorney, so I feel like it's gonna be, like, a breath of fresh air. Cause, like, I I'm not saying that I- I dislike this game, but there's a lot of aspects of it that have just made me kinda go like, oh man, this is kind of a chore to get through. But- but I hear that Great Ace Attorney is just good, like, all the way through. Hmm? Where are we? Oh! Oh. Whoa, what is this place? Guys, we made it! I don't know, but uh, I don't know how we're gonna get out of here either. Is that where we fell from? That's very tall. Still, oh yeah, the guy who- yeah. <laughs> yeah, that guy. God, I loved how- I liked how they were like, That guy has joined! And I'm just like, oh no, really? It was so good. Leg? Leg? L leg? The word with- yeah, um, that was from Professor Layton versus Phoenix- That guy- I can't even remember what his name is, because he had such a nondescript name. But he, like, drank- He, like, drank evidence at the scene. <sighs> Jesus. I was shocked, too. These ruins look really old. And then he stole- <laughs> And then he stole and sold- L Gold Layton's arm. <laughs> he's just, he's just not very great. It's not exactly something you'd expect to find in the middle of a cave system, that's for sure. Maybe the doctor hid the orb around here? I mean, those look like footprints over there. But they're leading away. Son, I think our little adventure is about to pay dividends. Time to find that orb. Well, they made jokes about how dumb- yeah, this is true. Cause there was- well, there was Bardley, and then Birdly, I think was the other- yeah, cause he had the parrot. And he made a lot of money, apparently. Yeah, just dumb and There's a lot of- Whew! It was- Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright was just very good. Like, there was just so much going on, but... It was just a nice melding of the worlds. This box looks pretty new. I'm guessing the doctor's the one who brought it down here? It's no good. It's locked tight. There's no way to open it. Doesn't look like it. There isn't even a keyhole. Which means there must be some trick to opening it. I don't know. Dirk, do you remember when we picked up this thing? When Dragon and Tiger Battle found her off as divine protection. When the butterfly embraces the Matama, the favor of the orb is bestowed. Offer thy prayers fervent as fire, only then shall the Holy Mother return. 
Descending upon us in all her glory, founder bestows the greatest power known. Anyway, they're probably going to say something about that soon. We'll have to figure it out if we want to see what's inside. Okay, well, can I get closer? Oh, wait, is that a water bottle? What's a plastic bottle doing here? There's seaweed stuck to it, which means it probably came from the ocean. Hmm. It's possible this cavern is connected to the sea somehow. Check these footprints. These have got to be the doctor's footprints. They match the bottom of the boots we saw in his study. So he made it all the way down here. Hmm. The water's washed most of them away, but his footprints are everywhere. Really? Because these are the only set I see. He must have been looking for something. Ah! Those prints! They're coming out of that lake! Hey, you're right! But that would mean Dr. Buff came walking out of the water. It's a big stone altar. One false move and some god might come and smite us. Oh, come on. It's not all doom and gloom. I dare you to look at our surroundings and say that again, Dirk. <laughs> oh, you've got me there, son. Dear gods, please smite me now. No. Wood! Driftwood? How'd that get in here? We just established that this is probably connected to the sea! Uh, by drifting on in, I'd assume. The only question is, from where? Um... Uh, I don't know. There's- is that where we fell from? So that's the hole we fell through. Doesn't look like we'll be going back that way. We're lucky we survived the fall from way up there. Yeah, considering all of the, uh... freaking stalagmites down here that we could have been impaled on? Indeed, if that hole hadn't been above the lake, we'd be history. You passed out the moment you hit the water. Yeah, well, water's not really my thing. <laughs> this cavern is solid rock all around. Looks like we either go back through that hole, or find some other way out. Why am I always between a rock and a hard place? <laughs> I don't know, Apollo. Okay, um... What else should I be looking at? Oh! This lake looks really deep. I can't even see the bottom. Bottomless lake in the depths of a mountain cave system. My blood runs cold at the thought of falling in there. The water, it's salty. This lake may very well lead to the ocean. Didn't Pearl mention something about the ocean? Like how it's on the other side of the mountain? Can't imagine she meant it literally. Let's sum up what we know so far. Time to make some dinner. All right. I want pictures, please. Thank you. The orb is almost definitely inside this box contraption that we can't open. As for this cave, there doesn't seem to be any way out. Ugh, we're this close to the orb. Ah, oh, come on now, son. Don't be like that. It's just a bit of bad luck. That's all. A bit. Murphy called. He wants his law back. Ha <laughs> uh, What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? <laughs> oh, how can he laugh at a time like this? I don't know, because it's better than whining? Oh, this boy. Yeah, so punny. <laughs> We're stuck here for now, so we might as well try to open this thing. Mm hmm. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with. Okay, um... I'm gonna have to... There's a big button here. Huh, nothing happened. Okay, so that's a dragon. That's... Tiger. That's dragon and tiger. Or if I was mentioning, it reminds me, have you ever heard of Cole's Law? 
Is that, is this a joke about coleslaw? I feel like this is gonna lead into a joke about coleslaw. Also, coleslaw, for the most part, is disgusting. I've only found like one or two places that I actually enjoy coleslaw from. <laughs> this thing is covered with pictures. And hey, each section also rotates. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. There's something about like the, just the, the normal like coleslaw that you get from anywhere that's just gross. Cause it's like too sweet. And I don't know, whenever I have something with lettuce, I don't feel like it should be sweet. Okay, divine protection, butterfly embraces the Matama. Fervent fire, descending. Take a look at this, son. See the picture of a dragon battling a tiger? And this green and purple one. It's of a Kuranese butterfly and a Matama. I wonder if there are clues for figuring out how to open this box. Maybe, can you give me control again? Oh no, they're gonna have to come out and talk and be like, mm, it sounds like this could have something to do with the notes. I already know what it is. Let me touch it before I forget. I'll try it different ways at least once. Yeah. You with potato salad, it needs to be savory, not sweet. Yeah. Sweden does amazing coleslaw. Well, then give me some of your amazing Swedish coleslaw. Thank you. It's the least you can do for me discovering a pizza place that you didn't know about. Actually, no, you don't owe me for that. I'm still mad that you guys don't have pepperoni. Sweet potato salad. Yeah, it's that is weird, but homemade potatoes, potato salad is just really good. I don't know what it is, but a lot of like the prepackaged stuff just has like really weird seasonings in there that don't need to be in there. Remember, things don't have to have a complex flavor profile to be delicious. It appears that this box uses a picture-based combination. We'll have to arrange the pictures on each slide in the correct sequence. Let's see. There's the dragon in the tiger fight and Karini's butterfly with a Mitama and a number of other pictures too. Dirk, I was thinking, maybe we should check the evidence. I already know. Yeah, I think we have something that might just help open it. You read my mind, son. I think this will help us open the puzzle box. Take that. Take that. Dr. Bus Research Notes mentioned the song of the ceremony. Okay, yeah, that was a lot of words to explain something I already know. Maybe the lyrics of the picture in the box correspond somehow. It's 25 minutes away and in the middle of... Well, it, but if you want to order, I, sometimes you need to eat. <sighs> I think you're onto something, son. Don't worry, it won't be like the usual where you just are like sitting at your desk in Japan and all of a sudden somebody knocks on the door and you're like, who is that? Okay, let's give it a shot. Yeah, okay, we get it. Cool. Each dial has six pictures and there are four dials in all. The box should open once the pictures are arranged in the right order. Funky puzzle box. Here comes justice. Let me touch. Okay. Confirm. No, not confirm. I needed to go down. Make burgers or steaks or use famous Dave's. You know, I haven't tried that. Maybe the pictures aren't in the right order. Okay, I'm sorry. The case should. I pressed the thing. You got scared. Right. I know. I'm sorry. I mean, I, sometimes I wanted to surprise you, but sometimes surprises are scary when you're living in a different country. Okay. Butterfly embraces the Matama. Um. Notes. Fervent fire. Fervent fire. That's the protection one. Oh, no, no. I think. No, 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 no. This one has to be the. F and then. Get, I guess this one's the protection one, because she's like, go away! Descending, yeah. Okay. I think this is it. It won't, son of a... Shit. Okay, never mind. Also, well, I'm sorry. Okay, fine. If I, if I send you food again, I will give you... I will tell you, like, right as I do it. So... 
Ugh. It's okay, you had long shirts. That's all you need, is just long shirts. Who needs pants? Yeah, divine protection. Butterfly embraces the Mitama. Offer thy prayers is... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um... Maybe it's a different one. Does you want stalkers to know literally where you need pants? Okay, okay, fine. I mean, I'm not a stalker. Or maybe that's the divine protection. Shit, no. No, that's gotta be the divine protection to keep us from getting eight. Butterfly embraces the Mitama. Fervent prayers like fire? Is it, is it, it seems like the wrong order. No. Well, I didn't know that. You should have told me then. I apologize. Okay, I just wanted you to eat. She's coming down in all her glory. That's just, that's just flowers. I mean, they're praying. Let's try that. Nothing. What the f uh. Wow, I don't like this. Because that's the divine protection. Like, am I just doing this in the wrong order? You died it. Oh no, does it not autosave at all? Salt. Yeah, it is. I don't really like what the fuck is with this. This is probably uh, just as bad as the suitcase fingerprint search. You have to think outside the puzzle box. Sometimes the truth can only be found when you look at things from a different angle. Well, I'm looking at it from one angle, Dad. Thanks. Only before big scenes. Okay. A different angle? Come to think of it, one of the pictures from the song is missing. Does this mean the pictures don't line up exactly one to one? Wait, what? So. I mean, is it the prayer one? Okay. Oh, really? Really? It's got... Fuck you, game. Don't pull that bu Look at it from a different perspective. No, that... Whatever. I hate shit like that. You had to do half and half because it's like part of the line is missing. No, come on. It opened. I don't, I, I don't see. Sometimes the game does stuff like that. I'm like, really, guys, you want me to do stuff a very specific way. But then you're like, think outside the box. I'm like, I don't know, man. Why would that be turned one way when everything else is the other way? <clears throat> it's the founder's orb. We did it, son. The orb is finally ours. 
Look, we're almost three hours in, and this is only investigation day one, and there's still investigation day two, and trial day one, and trial day two. This is taking a very long time. I hope that the trial starts very soon after this. Oh, we're playing victory music. At last, the Founder's Orb is ours! And it's all thanks to you, son. Well done. Then again, I'd expect nothing less from my boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's no big deal. Don't sell yourself short. You may think it's nothing, but your insights and reasoning led us here. And I'd say that's truly impressive. I don't know about that. <laughs> all those battles you fought in the quarter have shaped you into the man you are today. And I couldn't be prouder. Uh, will, will you cut it out already? Before I turn into a sun-ripened tomato? With this orb, I can finally deliver a fatal blow to the Garen regime. Ha 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 So, uh, how exactly do you plan on using it? You're not gonna try to become a spirit medium, are you? Don't be ridiculous, I don't need supernatural powers like that. So then, are you gonna use it as a bargaining chip with Queen Garan? Like, demanding she abolishes the Defense Culpability Act? Well, the thought had crossed my mind, but... The main thing is returning this to the Kingdom of Korain. After all, as a sacred relic of Koreanism, that is where it belongs. Really? That's all you wanted to do? Mm-hmm. Because my true objective has always been to find out who asked Dr. Buff to study it and why. I'm not sure I follow. Okay. Like, that's one of the other things. There is so much information being, like, doled out right now, and I'm like, how am I supposed to, like, remember all of this? Like, I barely remember the stuff that happened earlier in the game because there's been so much fucking, like, tongue flapping going on. And I'm just like, man, I just... I, I get it. There's a revolution happening, and there's a lot we need to know, but my god... I'm three hours in, and I'm, I just want to figure out who exactly we're defending. I mean, well, I guess I'm defending him from what? I don't know. The official story is that the orb was stolen from the Temple Temple treasure room. Yeah, I heard about that on the news. They also said your group was behind the theft. That's not good. We're probably on an international most wanted list now. Let me ask you something, Apollo. Who do you think really stole the orb? Uh, I really haven't a clue. Well, I think it was one of the royals. Yeah, that's what I think too. Really? Someone from the royal family? The one jerk man. Um, is he even in the court record? Nope, I think he's in um, Phoenix's court record. I'm still mad that we didn't actually run into Edgeworth. Don't tell me we saw I saw Edgeworth and then don't fucking actually give me Edgeworth. The hell is that game? Yeah, and I've got a pretty good idea which one it was. He knows who it is. Care to share your hunch? All I'll say is that at this point is this. Security is pretty tight, but the Royals have unfettered access to the treasure room. Plus, they seem to be turning a blind eye to the orb's loss. But why would a member of the royal family do that? That I haven't figured out yet. But whatever the reason, it can't be good. I mean, a Koranese royal stealing a national treasure of such religious significance? And then pinning the crime on us, the defiant dragons? Uh, sounds like a conspiracy or something. I agree. And if the truth were come to light, it would be a scandal of epic proportions. To allow a foreign national to study a treasure so sacred that it's off limits to the public. It would be seen as an utter sacrilege to those who truly revere the Holy Mother. Uh, so if this were to go public, support for the Garan regime would weaken. But that's not all. This is just a hunch. But I believe there's something even bigger here. Something that would explain why the orb was being studied in the first place. Something that would shake the kingdom of Korain to its very core. And I'm going to find out what. He's probably right. His intuition is usually spot on. I 
Dirk, why are you so bent on revolution anyway? Is it to reform the legal system in Korain? There's that. But I'm also doing this for my children. I want to save Nayuta. I hope you can. He's really just a jackass. What do you mean? This is for your ears only. It's the other reason why this revolution needs to succeed. Okay, what, what's up with him? <clears throat> now, Utah, I never thought that our reunion would take place in a courtroom. Or that he would call me putrid 70 times in a row. Oh, so you've run into each other already. Yeah, but it was like he was a different person. He used to be such a kind, cheerful kid, always smiling and stuff, but now... He tried to convict Trucy for a crime she didn't even commit. Plus, he kept telling me I had a putrid mind and to let it go and move on. Yeah, fuck that guy. Has it really gotten that bad? It must be Garan's influence. He wasn't like that when he first stepped into the courtroom. Back then, he still had a keen sense of justice. I vow to bring the Garn regime down and reform the legal system. That's what he swore to do. That was also five years ago. Yeah, apparently five years is enough to turn him into the biggest asshole I've ever seen in this game series. He'd been the shining star of the Defiant Dragons and our greatest hope. Wait, Nayuta was a dragon? He was, but these days he's more like Garin's lapdog. Talk about a complete about face. Why would he do that? Something must have happened to him. Something that sparked a radical change. Drugs? Still, I don't think he truly believes in the new path he's taken. It's not conviction that fills his heart. It's resignation and despair. I, I see. The only thing I know for sure is Nayuta is suffering, and he is suffering in silence. Nayuta is suffering? I don't know, this still doesn't make up the fact that he's just been such a fucking chode. Uh, yes, he knows the rightful state of Korain's legal system, but something forces him to bend to Garon's will and it's tearing him apart. But it's been five years! Do you really think he even still wants to reform the legal system? As long as he carries what I've taught him in his heart, I do. Well, you believe in him a lot more than me. A dragon never yields. That's what you always told us. That I did. It's a belief I've held since back when I was a lawyer. The dragons stand at the pinnacle of the natural world. Nothing and no one can bend its will. And that's why we lawyers must pursue the truth like an unyielding dragon, right? We must fight for truth to the bitter end, no matter what it takes. Dirk and Mr. Wright, hmm, they have that much in common. That's why I held on to this badge, even though there are no more lawyers in Korea. I believe that one day our legal system will return to its former glory. And this badge here is a testament to that belief. Hmm. I wonder if Nayuta still believes in what you taught us. He does. That much I'm sure of. A dragon never yields. Oh, thanks for the voice line. I know that belief is deep in his heart. I'd bet my life on it. After all, he is my flesh and blood. I mean, you know, they push a whole lot of that, like, family first mentality and all that. Sometimes your family is just full of fucking assholes. <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll see, though. Hmm, 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 hmm. This unshakable faith and confidence, it's what draws people to him, whether they like it or not. Even people like me. You know, I remember back when we were kids, Ayuta used to say with great pride, I have the blood of the dragon within me. Yes, and that's why I want to free him. Free him from the poisonous clutches of the Garan regime. So that's your other reason for starting a revolution. Yes, I need to smack some sense into that boy of mine. Yes, please. I want to see that. I hope it's a cutscene. Punch him real good. I mean, what else are fathers for? 
<laughs> uh, I... I wouldn't know. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I've never had a good dad figure. Now that we have the orb, on to the next problem. Getting out of here. Well, we're not going back the way we came. That's for sure. Yeah, okay. That's like the fifth time you pan to that hole. I get it. That hole we fell in... We fell through is way too high to climb back up to. Is the flashlight even working anymore? Did it fall in the water? You want to like him even more? Oh, nice. Actually, I have an idea. It involves diving. That lake water tastes salty, which means it must connect to the ocean. But wait a second. You're not suggesting we swim our way out of here. That's exactly what I'm suggesting. But we have no idea how deep that lake goes. It's pitch black down there. Not a problem. How is that not a problem? I mean, how do you even know if there's really a passage to the ocean? Well, one of us has to try, and I'm the better swimmer. Time's a wasting. I'll be back before you know it, son. Well, bye, Dirk. Dirk! Don't leave me alone. He's gone. I sure hope he knows what he's doing. May 16th, Mount Mitama, Pyrenees Ruins. Oh, well, yeah, we're still here. Why did it, why did it feel the need to tell me that? It's been 20 minutes. I hope he's okay. Um, what's going on? I swear to God, if they brought like a fucking submarine. Uh-oh. To the water! It's rising and fast! Ah! What? What? Need air. Get to the driftwood! <coughs> the driftwood! I don't know how to swim! If I don't grab into something that floats... Get the drift... Oh my god, is it giving me... Get it, is it giving me, give me the choice? This is bad. I better think of something. Quick! Grab the dr you dumb piece of shit. Grab the driftwood. I've got it. As long as I hold on to this, I should be able to stay afloat. Hey, maybe I can use this like an oxygen tank. Wait, what am I thinking? I need to stay calm and be more rational about that. I mean, that's kind of rational. Oh, I guess I can climb on that rock. This is not good. The water is almost up to the top of the altar. Won't be long before it reaches the roof of the cave. Oh, should I be checking out? Um. Oh, I need to... The puzzle box is still at the base of the altar. It must have been designed to stay put, even at high tide. Wait, that's it! Dr. Buff must have gotten here from some oceanside entrance at low tide. That's why his footprints were leading out of the lake. So it really does connect to the ocean. Uh, not that that helps. I drowned before I made it out. Okay, um... Ugh, it's no use. The hole's still too high up. I'll have to find another way. And quick, before I drown. Well. The water won't stop rising. I'm getting sweat. Okay. Ah, please stop. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, look, the hole. The water's just high enough for me to reach the hole. I'm saved. All I have to do is go back the way we came. The water might even lift me all the way back up, over that wall of rock! Here goes! Uh, is there a rock in the way? Is there literally a rock in the way? The hole, it's full of rubble! Oh boy! Oh, collapsing above, must have filled it after we fell through. Well, this sucks. Ugh, this, this can't be happening! Apollo, man, you're just having a bad time. Can't give up now. I refuse to die here. I'm fine. Hello? The water. I can't. Okay. Well. <clears throat> okay. I can't breathe. Well, goodbye, Apollo. I don't know. Maybe Dirt got some diving gear. Oxygen tank? Is this the end? Maybe Apollo. 
Derek, I wonder if he made it out. Yeah, probably. So this is what it feels like to drown. Wow, that's fun. I would have eaten that sushi if I would known it would be my last meal. I feel like I've been through this before. Ah, now I remember. Uh, did you almost drown as a kid in the water right here? Back when all three of us were living in that shack in the mountains. Now Yuta and I were playing by the riverside when we got swept up in the rapids. I bet Dirk's gonna save you now like he did back then. Ah! Ah! Oh. I thought we were goners, but then... Daddy Dirk came to save us. Hold on, I'm coming! I always keep a, a good swimmer nearby. Oh god, that's very blurry. Yeah, good job, Dad. See, he's not so bad. Ha 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 ha, that was a close one! I thought I'd lost you two! Wow, he's so jolly. I'm sorry, Dirk. All right, that's enough now. Didn't I teach you that boys don't cry? Oh. Well, I don't know about... I don't know about that. Should probably work on that a little. Thank you, Father. <laughs> yeah. Goddamn. You, you could have been killed, but you risked your life to save us. Why? I, I, he doesn't look like he's anywhere close to death. What a silly question. What father wouldn't risk his life to save his own children? Nayuta, Apollo, don't you ever hesitate to call when you need me. Understand? Oh, he's gonna call out to Dad, and Dad's gonna be like, I'm here! Hey, Dirk, this isn't forever, right? You'll bring me back from America someday, right? Of course! I'll come pick you up as soon as things settle down here. Promise. Well, they haven't settled down, so he technically hasn't reneged on his promise. Okay, you promised. Dirk, I've waited and waited for the day you'd come and take me home. But you never came. And now I have a new dad. His name is Phoenix Wright. That's why I tried to forget about you. My life back in Korain. Man. Dirk. Why? Why didn't you? Apollo! Apollo! Okay. Apollo, can you hear me? Why did you never learn how to swim? It's been 10 years! D Dirk? Still can't swim, eh? You, you came back? Of course he came back, but why? I said I'd come for you, didn't I? Yeah, but you can't hold me and swim. We're both going to. Stop talking. You'll bite your tongue. What? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! We're being pulled under. What's going on? Why is this happening? Hold your breath, son. May 16th. Eh? Yeah, the, oh no, what happened? <coughs> How did I make it all the way here? Jeez, what, where? Ah, you finally came too, son. Get your fill of seawater. Good thing your name's not Neptune, huh? Ha 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 ha. Dirk. Dad? Ha <laughs> ha! You're telling me? Check it out! Snot's coming out of his nose! What a miraculous escape! Not even some of the escape artist greats could pull that off! What? What on earth happened? Uh, sorry it took me so long, son. I made it to the ocean, but I figured you still couldn't swim. So I found a local fisherman and had him take us uh, near the undersea cavern. He tied a rope to me, and I came and grabbed you. Then he yanked me back. Oh, so that's what pulled us under with such force. 
Made it back, just out your foot. Yeah, we got out of the cave. Apollo almost died and had memories happening. Don't forget about me. I assisted in your escape act too, Polly. I've helped compatriots escape from all sorts of places. Mountain jails, island prisons, but an undersea cavern? Now that was a first. Body bounced into the air and bounced down. Splattering blood. Oh no! Oh, that's unfortunate. Dirk, he risked his life for me. Dirk, I'm only alive because of you. Thank you. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're welcome. I, uh, just did what any father would do for his son. Damn, pulling the father card again. Saved my life yet again. I'm a hot. Yeah, it's been hours. He's very hungry. Um. <laughs> I guess seawater doesn't make for much of a meal. It's because Polly didn't have any sushi. Oh, yeah. I haven't eaten anything since this morning. Oh, well, that's right. Hey, AJ. Dirk had me buy this for you. It's the exact same kind of sushi that we ate earlier because we didn't feel like buying different ones. I uh, thought you might be hungry. Ready to have some this time around? Yeah, thanks. Chomp nom nom nom. Oh, wow, this is delicious. Yeah, you know, the best meals are after you've almost died. <laughs> Glad you approve. I'd better get some before you eat them all. Chomp, chew, chew, chew. Just like old times. Dirk used to slice the fish he caught and we'd all eat fresh sash sashimi together. He used to talk about all the vitamins and minerals packed in the raw fish. Chomp, munch, munch, munch. Hey, by the way, let me see that orb, AJ. There you go. Whoa, so that's what it looks like. You found the legendary treasure. Nice work, Polly. Thanks. Guess you could say mission accomplished. With the orb, our revolution can take a big step forward. Let's celebrate the eve of our revolution. We'll get all dressed up and feast till dawn. Yeah, now you're talking. Time to party. Um, after all that, I just want to go to bed. Sure wish Nayuta was here. Do you really, though? He's kind of a dick right now. Maybe one day we'll enjoy times like these together again. The revolution. They can bring back those happy days. You can sign me up for... Um, sorry to interrupt your little party, but I'm here for my crystal. Right, left, right, left, halt! Oh, it's Addison. Fuck you. Ah, it's him again. <laughs> well done. Then again, I always knew you could do it. After all, we politicians must be excellent judges of character. Still, I'm impressed you both made it out of there alive. Yeah, I hate him too. Well, wait a second. You're the one who shoved us into that pit. It sounds so bad when you say it like that. All I did was give you a little nudge in the right direction. Can we just kill him? There's no cops here. We'll just hide the body. So it was you. Hmm. Kill him. Just kill him. Shoot him. Stab him. Come on, Dirk. You probably know some cool assassination techniques. You're the rebel leader. Ah! He's mad! You no good son of a... Oh, oh! Eep! D -d Don't look at me like that! The crystal of Ami Fei is mine! Now hand it over! No, it's not. It's... Are you a part of the Fey line? I don't think so. I don't think that belongs to you at all. Over my dead body! E D D detective help! Oh no, Emma? Emma, please. Yeah, yeah, I know. Emma, what's going on here? He filed a police report. He oh, the wow, he is literally the one like white guy who calls whenever anything happens. He's like, um, hello, police? I don't like the way these people look outside. I need your help. What the fuck? 
he claims you're trying to steal his family heirloom. Th th that's him, the one with the long hair. Arrest him this instant. Sounds like retail, yeah. He's the thief that made off with the Addison family's most precious heirloom. Well, I suppose I should ask you to come in for questioning. Down at the police station, I, I think I'll pass. After all, Mr. Attishan seems bent on having me arrested on theft charges. This is not good. If Dirk gets arrested, he'll be sent back to Korean to face execution. Sorry, but now that I know you have the crystal, or orb as you call it, I must insist. Emma, come on. Will you please come with me, sir? Emma, I'm afraid I can't let you take Dirk in. He received the orb from Dr. Buff in a perfectly legal transaction. Is that so? Can you prove it? Of course. This should sufficiently prove that the orb now belongs to Dirk. Don't tell me. Oh no, cause she's gonna be like, if I come to no harm, but he died, which means he came to harm. So it doesn't hold water anymore. Fuck. Take that. I'm not, I'm just not feeling it. Take a look at this agreement. What do we have here? Let's see. I agree to hand over the Founder's Orb to the Defiant Dragons if I will come to no harm. Hmm, it appears to be a perfectly legal agreement. Not so fast. Since it's 1M, it should be Ema. <laughs> oh. I mean, maybe, but that just feels weird. That is not the Founder's Orb. It is the crystal of Ami Fei, which means that their agreement is null and void. Hmm, this is going nowhere fast. You can say that again. Then it will just have to go to trial. Is that my boy? Right, Apollo? Is it my boy? It's Phoenix! Oh, I thought it was Edge. I'm sorry, I'm waiting for Edgeworth. I'm like, Edgeworth, come on! But it's our boy Phoenix. M -m -m Mr. Wright? Daddy! Oh, what's with you two? You look like you just saw a ghost. Oh, yeah. Emma mentioned you had seen him around. Um, what are you doing in Korean Village, Mr. Wright? Mr. Addison has retained me as his lawyer! What the fucking shit? No! He's a dumb douchebag asswipe daddy's grandpappy's boy. What the fuck? Wait, you're his lawyer? Why? <laughs> what the fuck? Do you are you that hard up for cash, Phoenix? Mr. Wright, why are you serving at, as Mr. Addison's lawyer? He's literally a piece of crap. Because he hired me. He needed my help in getting a family heirloom back from Dr. Buff. Phoenix, even you should know that this smells like poopy. Uh, I probably will play it later on because I do need to pick up some tomato starts that Cat sent me. And I also need to see what Leaf has in store for me. And it seems he correctly foresaw that something like this might happen, probably because it's a fucking setup. Sorry. It's because those shifty insurgents were harassing poor Dr. Buff. So I knew I might need a lawyer if things went south. Yeah, no, 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 I'll, I'll check it out when I get there. And then I'll let you know. I figured with a celebrated lawyer like Phoenix Wright, I couldn't go wrong. Is this what you came back from Karain for, Mr. Wright? Uh, it was just good timing. My work over there just happened to wrap up, so here I am. Plus, Mr. Attishan is a very important client. They know each other, but I've never even heard Mr. Wright mention his name before. What is happening? Excuse me. Mr. Wright, are you sure this is Mr. Addison's family heir heirloom? That's my client's assertion. He says it's the crystal of Ami Fe. And you're just gonna believe him straight up? Apparently it's the crystal she once used when channeling spirits. Well, I mean, at least you'll have that time off for like mental health and other things, so. I mean, it, it sucks, but I mean, Yoshi P was very like torn up about it too, so. 
But they also want to make sure that it's as like smooth as possible um, with the, the transition to the new thing and all that. Yeah, exactly. Not working Black Friday is a win. Who's Ami Fei? She brought Kuranee's channeling to Japan and her descendants brought it here, like Maya. Did you take Maya with you? I want to see Maya again. Her true origins are still rather murky, but what's clear is that she is the founder of the Korean channeling technique. Oh, so she's like the one they call the founder in Korean, the Holy Mother. Apollo, I don't plan to betray my client's confidence. Well, I don't... Whatever, bro. I may not know all the facts yet, but I do know that we won't be handing the crystal over to you. Phoenix, why? <laughs> what are you saying? Are you the prosecutor? I'm really sorry it's come to this, but Mr. Wright, I don't understand. <gasps> He's the final boss now. Of course he is. It's it's taken five games, six games. Six games. Let me spell it out then. If you continue to claim that the crystal belongs to your client, then I will be seeing you in court. No! This is Professor Layton versus Phoenix right all over again. Ultimate betrayal. What? What? What's gotten into you, Daddy? I only want to seek the truth. Nothing. This is strictly business. Phoenix, how much money is this guy offering you? <laughs> Two lawyers from the same firm facing off? What are the odds? Lucky for me, I believe I have the right man for the job. <laughs> Whatever are you going to do? Remember, he is your boss. How did it come to this? M Mr. Wright, please don't do this. Apollo, there's no point in arguing about it here. When it's now clear, we're headed to the court. And then they just play like like a bunch of basketball. But of course, Apollo wins. Sorry, I dropped my microphone because he, well actually no. Apollo probably wouldn't win at basketball. Apollo's physical, his physique is terrible. I mean, I'm pretty sure Phoenix isn't much better, but I feel like he's in better physical condition than Apollo. Judges Bizarre Adventure music, oh no. That's what, yeah, we'll find out who the crystal really belongs to. I don't believe it. Am I really going to face Mr. Wright in court? Daddy, Apollo, no! We can't have our agency's talent competing against each other! It's too late, Trucy. The die has been cast. We each have to fight for our client's best interests. But, but... So, what's it gonna be, Apollo? Are we going to have to take this to the trial? I have to battle Mr. Wright in court! The legendary Phoenix Wright, who only wins by the seat of his pants, by bluffing continuously, and by sheer blind luck? Damn. Yeah, look at the way he slaps the table. No matter how many trials of his I've watched, he's never lost. No matter how dire the situation, he's always pulled out a win in the end. Can I do it? Can I really take on the man whose footsteps I've been following in? I owe it to Dirk at least to at least try. I what should I do? Throw it No, don't throw it. We're battling Mr. Right. That's the only way to do it. Wow, that quote didn't work out very well. There's no turning back now. If it's a trial you want, Mr. Wright, I'm more than happy to oblige. I'm ready to fight for my client, even if it means facing off against you! That's just what I wanted to hear. Say something! God damn, this, is, this pisses me off too! Alright. I won't be pulling any punches either, Apollo. The kid gloves are officially off. May the best attorney win. Is it, this just breaks down to us just punching each other bare knuckle. You got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. First daddy, now you. 
Polly, you're not seriously. Sorry, Trucy, but I have to do this. You know this game, you haven't even played any of them? Oh man, Paulo. All right then, I'd better go prepare for tomorrow. See you in court. Daddy, no, wait! <gasps> is Trucy gonna be on his side? Who will be in my corner? Oh, probably Athena, wherever Athena is. She's apparently lost forever. A fine mess I've gotten you into, son. I mean, of all the lawyers we could have faced, it had to be him? He's practically a celebrity in Karain now. They're calling him the Fighting Phoenix. I I'll be fine. After all, I've come a long way too. Who knows? I, I could even end up winning. <laughs> There's always a chance, uh, right? You know, this may be a blessing in disguise. If the trial proves what we found is indeed the Founder's Orb, then whoever asked Dr. Buff to study it may be revealed too. This is our chance to finally pull them out of the shadows. Uh, this is the last game in the series, uh, yeah, as in, like, official, like, Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright games. Um, the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles happened, like, those are technically, like, like a, like a prequel? Because it's a different cast of characters, but it happens, like, um, like in the, I think it happens, like, earlier in the 1900s. Yeah, in terms of regular Ace Attorney, though, this is the final game so far. The first step of your revolution, huh? Yes, the revolution to restore Korain to its former glory and to save Nayuta's soul. Dirk, I swear to fight as hard as I can in court to make that a reality. We're gonna win this one. You'll see. I know you can do it, son. Thanks, Dad. Doesn't matter that I'll be going up against Mr. Wright. I have to win this for Dirk and for Nayuta. His salvation, along with all of Karain, depends on it. Yeah, we gotta make him not so much of a jerk. He continued. Okay, guys, that was three and a half hours of investigation. The first investigation. <sighs> it says investigation two, but I'm also like. Yeah, there's apparently two days of investigation, so. Well. Save the game. All right. I'm gonna stop this recording for now.